Hello. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hello, it's me. I am Ibrahim. I'm the most wonderful co-host. And uh, I will pass it to someone else. We're not doing the whole... Okay. Uh, oh, oh, my uh, My name is Ibrahim, and today I'll be playing Unison Condo, codenamed Dove. A commercial pilot and courier for hire currently working for the agency. Unison has taken jobs ferrying blind shipments for corporations in need of plausible deniability in the past. He is a parcel delivery person, and sometimes the parcels are somebody's mistress, and they just need to get taken from, you know, the politician's house back to their house. And, you know, that that's a package. That's a delivery. And Unison makes sure that everyone gets out safely, securely, and without being seen by the wife. Hi, my name is Sin with the Sea Like Cinnamon, and it's very nice to meet you. Uh, I'll talk about my handle after all of this, but I'm playing 404 or 4, a medic technician who uh, got on the wrong side of things by accident and is now working to do better. I think that's the best way to describe it for now. Hello, hello. My name's Alyssa. My pronouns are they, them. And tonight I am playing Najia Reyes, who uses any pronouns. And they are an ex-PA for a corporation, sadly, sadly deposed, who is now working for the greater good. They definitely care about people and are not just doing all of this for revenge. Mm. Totally. Mm. Also, I, I, I have pronouns. There's they, she. And uh, <laughs> my character Ooh. also has pronouns. They're they, them. <laughs> oh, uh, unison point. has pronouns and they are my pronouns and they are he him unfortunately we lost our other pronouns in the great depression and we are sharing <laughs> we oh, just no, lost them in so that big sorry. old panini that we just yeah. had we just, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was bad times that, that bad pandemonium bad bad pandemonium you know what's even better I realized for the first portion of this my mic was muted they could hear all of you but not me. Oh, it's no. totally fine though. No, no, it's all good. It's all good because they could hear who was. They could hear the important people, and that's okay. fine. I'll just well, let, go. Me, let me introduce Kendo. Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm joined here by my amazing and beautiful, splendiferous, uh, award-winning GM Kendo, uh, also known oh. as Kendrick, uh, and Kendrick. You Kendo uses they/he pronouns. May I also say, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Yes. Ooh. I will not repeat it because I cannot. I will trip right. many super, times. Super cat. Mm, no, never yeah. mind. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't Look, uh, ooh, actually, Apparently, no, I'm not gonna try that one. So easy. <laughs> yeah, right. She was yeah. just saying it over and over again. No problem. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible indeed. Um, awesome. Uh, so uh, yeah, today uh, is our first uh, game of Tech Noir. A cyberpunk noir game. Oh. I don't know why. Yeah, no, I don't know why my brain sure is was a game. just like. Sure is a game. Sure it sure is. Uh, it is, in fact, a game that is made by. Drum roll, please. As I Jeremy. scroll up, Jeremy. That's there's so many Jeremy's. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy Carroll. Jeremy oh. Keller. Thank you so much, okay. Jeremy Keller, for making Tech Noir, because this is a very good game. Um, but yeah, uh, we are playing a game of Tech Noir, a game of cyberpunk noir mysteries. We are playing in our usual setting, Prayers in the Static, a collaboratively world-built uh, sci-fi setting uh, that we build as we play the games with the wonderful people who 
choose to join us. Thank you all so much for joining us uh, because it's gonna get it's gonna get weird, it's gonna get fun, and it's gonna get uh, sad and spooky and mysterious and punky and hot. Ugh. It's gonna get hot. Yeah, not uh, not in, necessarily in, in a comfortable the literal, way. pretty sweaty, sense, perhaps yeah. in the literal sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so before we get into it, Ibrahim, yes. would you like to so, go over our content warnings for today? I would indeed. Um, so uh, in tech noir in particular, we do have a couple of content warnings that we want to get out up front. Um, generally, we do want to uh, prepare and expect uh, that there will be themes of climate disaster, war, death, guns, gun violence, debt, capitalism mental health issues, uh, alcohol, smoking, and drug use, um, as well as themes of missing persons, kidnapping, and trafficking of human or uh, prosthetic organs. Uh, again, that is kidnapping and trafficking of human or prosthetic organs, whether the organs are originating in a human or have been engineered to simulate those uh themes of those being moved around illicitly may be present and we do want to caution you if that is something that you are not comfortable with um please be forewarned and that is forearmed yes uh your well-being is at the forefront of our minds please be kind to yourself if you need to take a step away either stop listening or just take a break please feel more than free you are not beholden to stay here by any means you are free to practice whatever form of self-care is necessary as we go through this. Um, I think that's enough of that spiel. Spiel. Whatever. Uh, we, could, we can get into the game. <clears throat> as I move us on over to our map screen. If I remember the thing. I did remember the thing. Except... There is one thing that I forgot on this map screen, and that is to put my face. <laughs> oh. We would love to see your face. Would you love to see my face? Yeah. I can make I'm that I'm sure happen. the people at home would love yes. to see well. Hey, you can see my face. Yeah. It's a little, it's a, Let's it's a little go. big. It's a little Let's big. Go. We're going to fix this on the fly real quick. Bada bing. Yeah, no. Let's go. Live theater, everybody. Thank you. Live theater. Hey, guys. It's a live production. Things get a little crazy around here. Prayers and Static is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Live Viewer discretion is advised. Absolutely. Bam. Big. Perfect. Sec. Okay. And he, we are here. Finally. As our camera fades in on the blazing deserts. Well, desert of the Chihuahuan Desert in texas as we stare at a rather imposing frame of this enormous metallic structure standing like a pillar in the middle of a otherwise flat dusty dry hot landscape this metallic structure pierces the sky uh with four large metallic fan blades almost like a metallic palm tree in the middle of nowhere and these four blades around the top spin slowly with a very low mechanical grind as the solar collectors do their due diligence, bringing in the solar energy necessary to power the several cities worth of people therein. As our camera moves in closer, almost passing through this metallic barrier protecting the inhabitants on the inside from the brunt force of the elements, though not in its entirety. We move inwards towards this upper part of the trunk 
of Alamo City. And we see what is a stark and brutal image of concrete and metallic structures from floor to ceiling going almost hmm what are the heights here gosh i would imagine it's probably several hundred feet definitely uh, probably somewhere around 500 to 600 feet tall floor to ceiling constructs of apartment buildings lined back to back to back in rows almost like a heating conductor or, or a radiator even it's hard to see the streets below past all of the construction and as our camera moves, we can see like almost ebbing and flowing off of the metallic structures of these buildings is the heat waves as everything is built to absorb, contain, and move heat vertically through this space. It's the only thing powering this. It's the only thing letting the people live here. As we see, the streets are crowded with citizens all wearing kind of light colored lightweight clothing from t-shirts to crop tops to um almost like reflective pants to kind of help deter some of the heat it's gaudy it's weird and it's the only thing allowing them to stay here in the way in which they are because otherwise life here is miserable. The streets are filled with uh, small personal vehicles and freight trucks moving things back and forth from the m several dozen miles around like diameter uh, of this level of Alamo City. Um, each of them waiting in what is maybe several hours worth of traffic as people wait for the intermittent scheduling of the vertical elevators to take people from floor to floor. Life here is scheduled. Life here is rigid and hard because that is what allows the city to run. And though it runs, it's not smoothly. But anything is better than outside. And as we move closer into one of these structures, we move into a small room past sh layers and layers of metal and wiring and tubing and conductive material. We find a room uh, it's not that big, maybe a 25 by 25 room that is primarily just an office, but is the space in which your detective agency, your, well, detective is a strong word, your hands and eyes and ears for hire, private investigators, Smugglers, blackmailers, debt collectors, whatever brings in the money so that you all can live the life that you've been able to carve out for yourself here in Alamo City. As we move into this space, I don't know if all of you are here, probably some of you, um... Uh, of the three of you, who all do you think is actually inhabiting the space during work hours when you're waiting for someone to come in uh, with a job for you? Hmm. I think Unison hangs out there most of the day. I think Unison is either on the job, mm -hmm. asleep, or in the office. And more often than not, 
asleep and in the office do intersect. Mm -hmm. Unison is just like laid about probably on an uncomfortable plasticky couch just lays in there mm -hmm. against the heat. Stuck to it because plastic oh, and skin. Fully, just... fully cemented to the couch. If Unison tried to get up right now, he's not sure if the couch would survive or if he would. <laughs> and he doesn't want to chance it. Of course. Of course not. Can you describe what Unison looks yeah. like for us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Unison is tall without being like a pre like unison is the kind of tall where you're like ah that's that person is just kind of long unison has these like long gangly limbs that aren't like incredibly thin but the proportions are just a little bit like you are a long person unison's got like this like tight fitting um uh set of like what appears to be like a compression shirt that has vents along the sides where he's getting just a little bit of a cool breeze. Um, and then he's wearing like his holsters on his side. He's got his little stinger secured tightly inside it. He's this, uh, he's got like this dark ish skin that is like w slick with sweat from his position on the couch, as well as a like sh shock of uh, silver blue hair in his uh, afro textured curls only on one side um and yeah he is he he's not having a good time right now he's also mm -hmm. his eye black is running a little bit i think in the he didn't spring for the waterproof eye black so he is fully <laughs> like dripping onto the couch amazing <laughs> amazing I have one question for you, Unison. Mm. What is one part of the agency, like the physical room of the agency, that Unison would change had they the resources to? Unison doesn't know why, but for some reason, his corner of the office is the hottest corner. And he's never been able to sort it out. But... The corner allotted to him, his little desk, is it would otherwise be a pretty nice corner. He's got like a view of the internals of the uh, of the arcology of Alamo City. So he could see out over like the central promenade into Alamo City. Mm -hmm. But there's just something about his corner that he's never been able to place where he, he it's just it's hot. And it's the kind of hot in a place that is always hot that makes you actually feel like you're in danger um if unison could he would not be that in that corner of the office but that's his spot uh -huh. if he could change anything about this place it would just be to not be there or to get <laughs> some sort of expansion like there's like uh, there's like he doesn't know exactly what's next door but he's like oh, come on we gotta be able to knock this wall down there's gotta be something we can do <laughs> yeah Got it. Is there anybody else here in the agency today? Yeah, I think that Nausea is sort of lounging back, barely pressed against the couch, sort of from behind it. So doesn't have to be <laughs> like touching or interacting or looking at Unison at all. Um, just sort of lounging on the ground like a sort of large cat. They have sunglasses on and they're clearly like looking at or watching something. Occasionally, one of their hands sort of twitches, flicking between pages. Um, so he's like very slim, but solidly muscled, not just sort of a taffy person. Like there is some muscle mass and weight there. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's dressed in like a very light sleeveless turtleneck over these loose trouser shorts, sort of casual business casual corporate cool and there's sort of a matching dress blazer that is made of a reflective material sort of haphazardly over the back of the couch mm -hmm. his left arm is clearly visible and is just flesh sort of lightly splattered with a constellation of scars 
but the other, the right arm, is cybernetic. And the cyberware itself is sort of aesthetically null. Like, it's not like it's bland the way the rest of her outfit is. But mm -hmm. to people in the know, it's clearly a piece that was meant to be covered with synth skin and is not right now. So it's not, you know, sleek or subtle or flashy. It just sort of is. It's functional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, her hair is like shaved at the sides and back and there's a small flop of like loose and sort of dragged down with sweat curls on the top uh, and behind the sunglasses sort of barely visible. She has these flat gray eyes also surrounded by sort of messy smudged makeup that is, you know, I think probably intentionally makeup rather than just eye black, but very clearly from last night. Uh, her lips, though, painted like a bright, clean red. So professional where you can see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. And Nausea, what is the part of your office that if the agency had the resources for, you would change? I think it's the sort of reception area where we actually take on clients and actually like, sit down and meet with them. Mm -hmm. Like I am used to a more sort of corporate environment that's more suited towards seeming intimidating, really making the impression that I want on clients. Whereas yeah. this, I think our office now is more sort of scattered, like whatever pieces we could find and afford and, you know, not in a large space at all. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Awesome. And then, uh, Sin, it looked like you were saying that for not an office right now? Probably not. Probably down in the forest. Okay, cool. Then we will come to them soon. Mm -hmm. uh, the two of you are just kind of lounging here uh at your agency, which I, we haven't set the name of yet, uh, but... What is, what does your logo look like? Describe if, if a person were to come up to the door, it's that, you know, pro describe to me the door yeah. of your agency and what like the logo and stuff on it looks like. Okay. And you I can think, all do this. Yeah. I think it's definitely got to have like a little cheeky, like shh on it. Um, I think. Like it, it, we've got it. I think maybe we've got like a little, like a little winky kind of emoji type deal, like really like iconographic, where it's just like mm -hmm. a, a knowing wink with a little shh. <laughs> and That's... as for the name of our agency, what what did we decide on? What was that? It was. It's private eyes i believe private eyes like now, e i y e s here's the thing yes exactly it's private eyes but it has to be with a z i i can't it can't not be private e y e z is it e y e z or e y z i'm going to leave that up to a listen sim because Naja and Ford just spicy. came in those here. They just came in afterwards and were like, "Private eyes." <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, hey, it's Fine, a good whatever. Like, to the point. <laughs> like seriously, <laughs> how often? You all came up with the name. You can't blame me for this. I didn't put this on oh, you. No, 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 no. I'm blaming you. I'm saying poor Nadja just looking at unison like. Really? <laughs> yeah, <that's our> friend. <laughs> it's such a terrible name, but that little winky emoji is kind of catchy. It is. Yeah. Yeah. No, it makes for great catchy. cards. We don't even need to put the name on the cards. The logo alone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not not that we have any cards recently because we haven't been able to afford the printers in a couple of a couple of weeks, but, you know, soon we'll have cards again. Yeah. We could just do stickers. Place them uh, stickers are actually place. more expensive. They are. It's not. It's not a good scene. They're even more expensive. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got money for adhesive. We don't have money for adhesive. <laughs> Listen, give it a little lick and then just slap it on the wall. If it sticks, hey. 
I could just you know. use tree sap from the trees. It's all good. We'll figure it out. If you're gonna smuggle sap up here, I got a guy. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Now in this, <laughs> this is good. I love this. I love this. Um, so, mm. Naja and um, Naja and Unison, uh, the two of you are just kind of lounging in here. Uh, it's a slow day. You all haven't really heard, uh, you know, haven't heard of anything specifically today. No one's come knocking. No one's come calling. You haven't heard from four. Uh, or any of your other contacts uh, at all today. It's been just a quiet, slow, hot day. Um, but every day is hot here, especially here in Private Eyes, where it, it's a little hotter than it is in most places for whatever reason. But, um, you know, that's what it's like here on floor 710, you know. Uh, it's just hot. Uh, and so, I think it's while you all are all are sitting here. Not um, move. You're blocking the fan. <laughs> Absolutely not. If you want the fan, you can come over and sit. There's two of us in the office. We split the fan fifty-fifty. I need you to move to the left, please. Just the slightest tilt of their body. <laughs> I I react like I have just been given like the finest of honeyed milk and like <laughs> providence from heaven like oh ambrosia oh, <laughs> yeah, oh sweet right. nectar from the heavens oh as you're oh, taking in good. as you're taking in this brand new sensation of like five percent more fan <laughs> dis air dispersal um. You all uh, get contacted. Do do people usually call in here, um, or do they send you emails, or like usually send you personal directives? Like how how do people usually get in contact with you all? I feel like it's Craigslisty. I feel like it has it's to be cool. someone. It's either anonymous or encrypted in some way because they have to not be known by whoever's like. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think maybe. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just say a thing, and uh, y'all 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 let me know how you feel about this. I feel like p to to contact Private Eyes, there's a certain restaurant that you need to place an order at. I love that. I think you just okay. go on, and then they contact you. Just, you? Yeah. Or like, I think no, I don't even think it's a real restaurant, or it could be a real restaurant, but I don't think it even has to be. It could just order. literally be add this to your cart. Add yeah. the one that has our logo to your cart, and uh -huh. you just put it in the notes. But I think also we fucked up, and it's like a limited amount of characters in the notes. So sometimes people don't actually give us enough details. It's like, God damn it, we gotta fix that. Okay, okay. So you all have like a printer essentially that tells you yeah. the, oh, the order notes. Yeah, that get someone a, else. get a mobile okay, order cool. printer. Yeah. No. If you ask okay, cool. for what they want fixed in the office, it's that. Why don't we like, just get we a need more characters? Like what? The <laughs> oh, the, not even it. that. It's we a need character. More characters. This is ridiculous. Okay. We missed half of that directive. Square. Okay. Squarespace only gives us so many. So oh, that's, a that's a reason that we could actually get them as a sponsor. So never mind. Uh, Triangle Space only gives us so many. <laughs> it's free in their restaurant package. I. If only it had one more point in it, it would be you perfect. You told me you were going to get yeah. Rectangle Space. What I happened? Can't wait. Listen, I didn't have the money, and we needed something, and Triangle Space is better than nothing. Fuck. It's true. <laughs> uh, as the two of you are lounging in this space, Unison, you've just gotten this a little bit more of, of air conditioning uh, in your direction. The two of you hear the... <laughs> of the... <laughs> of the order printer uh, that Got is it. sitting. Oh no, it's a fax machine sort of noise. It's just a little <laughs> shitty thermal printer. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, thermal printers in this heat? It oh, would be God. almost illegible. It's pretty bad. Uh, yep. But yeah, the uh, 
a a new order ticket has printed. Uh, I imagine like it's sitting on the desk of your like reception desk. Uh, yep. Hey, I got the last one. Oh, thank God! Maybe we can finally afford stickers. Um, and Naja will sort of jump up and walk over and try and read this order receipt. Amazing. Um, it so uh, I'm imagining the order receipt gives you like bare minimum information. It gives you name of person who ordered, uh, and like what their order is, and then like best like a contact information essentially for that person. How um, often and do we accidentally get just like people trying to order food? All the time. Most the of the time. time. I, and I think you can tell usually it's, because it's cute emoji. They're like, "Oh, that's so cute. Let's just add it in." Yeah. Yeah. No. For I sure. think it's a secret sauce. That's so adorable. <laughs> yeah, we love that. It's so good. Uh, <laughs> what did it cost, Michael? A thousand dollars. So you take uh, you take out the order receipt and you see the order. Uh, the name on the order is a person by the name Aaron Manali. Um, uh, it gives you, it's give, it gives you like their contact information. I imagine it's just like a number for their communicator for you to, you know, send whatever, uh, and the order note on here, which is usually where people put in their, you know, request for you all, uh, it says missing persons, uh, and it gives you like their apartment number and their floor, which is 713, which is three, above you yeah it would be three above you uh three levels above you and it gives you like their apart it gives you like not just like apartment number it gives you like district block uh up like which building which sector of that building and the apartment number in there it's like a f it's like a number that I imagine it's kind of like coordinates where it gives you uh -huh. like 73.24 B dot. And that's, that's the way in which it's written out. It's very confusing. And it's incredible. All of that in 140 characters. Yep. It's, a, it's a good thing. We have such a great zip code system here in Alamo city. Mm, it's complicated to outsiders, Alamo. but we get it. Hey, that's how we do it here. That's how we do it here. What, what do you want from you us? put on the New Yorker accent as if that's not a total New Yorker thing. It's like, going yeah, to fall apart understand. instantly. <laughs> you it's the heard? accent? Do, yeah. Say goodbye right now. <laughs> You'll never hear it again. You'll At least not on the stream. Goodbye forever. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, yeah, you've just gotten the order. Uh, uh, Aaron Manali. Uh, I can spell that out for you in chat if you would like, uh, but it's M I N A L I, uh, oh. and it's A A R O N. Uh, and so, yeah, it just gives missing persons, um, and then contact information and location. Looks like a missing persons case. Are uh, we going up or down? Going up. Hey, uh, we're gonna have to call up for. Yeah. Uh, any other details? Just where they're at. Aaron Manali is the order name. Manali, Manali. I don't, I don't know a Manali. Huh? Well, uh, nausea. I guess we'll get the gang together. Actually, the name Manali might sound familiar to you. Uh, it would have been a name you probably would have heard through uh, your cousin, Care. Uh, this, uh, you know for a fact that there was someone named Manali who worked with Care on and off, not like works for them at their facility, but more has been like, I'll come to lend a helping hand every now and then, was essentially a colleague, uh, or is a colleague of Care's. You don't think it's this Manali? Different first name, but. Manali, you know, actually, I might know Manali. I think. Oh, yeah. They might have worked down with care occasionally. Makes sense they go missing. I mean, doing all this 
giving away healthcare for free. <laughs> yeah, what a ridiculous concept. Everyone knows healthcare is supposed to cost you an arm and a leg. Only one of those, literally. Nasha sort of shrugs their cybernetic arm. Yeah, but it's like missing an arm already. <laughs> All right. Sounds like, uh, I mean, if they work for care, they might be in it. They might have some dough. We might actually get paid this time. I don't think that working for care means anything about having money the way that business is run, but might as well I'm check it they out. They might have more than zero. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still thinking about that last job we completed where we got, what was it? Coupons? Coupons to, I don't even remember. Did we use those? Have you not used yours? I mean, I'll take them if you haven't used your share. Well, hold on, hold on. What was what was it? I I, th I think I got it here somewhere, and I'm just gonna go digging through like my my pilot jumpsuit compression suit thing, looking for a little slip of paper. Uh, yeah, no, you find a uh, you find a coupon for uh, <laughs> what is a a maintenance shop uh for printers. Oh shit! For fucking use that. shop for printers. They might. <laughs> hold on, we might be getting an upgrade. All right, I'm gonna hold on to this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as uh, uh, do the two of you get in contact with Four, or what? What is your? Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit up Four on like a data pad. Like I'm just gonna like shoot Four a message or something. Just like real quick, pull out like my little. Um, actually, do I have one on my character sheet? I think I might. Uh, what's my thing? What do I have? What do I own? <laughs> I don't own anything. Um, um I... I think, I think there would definitely be at least a data pad that is at yeah, the receptionist yeah. stack to be able to contact okay. all of you. So I'll go over to the little pad and I'll just like dial fours, like fucking code in and be like, uh, uh, voice message, uh, 404, uh, Hey, we got a job. It's up on uh, seven thirteen. Uh, if you catch the express up, you might uh, might only take you a couple hours, but you're gonna have to leave now. So, you know, get back to me when you can, or just uh, here's the here's the deets. And Naja, you got the deets. Uh, missing persons case. Missing and persons case. Here it gives the exact coordinates of the apartment. Yeah. Awesome. Blah 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 seven three blah blah. <laughs> uh, and our camera cuts over to a much cooler area, both in aesthetics and also in temperature. As well, where exactly in the roots would you be right now? For I feel like. Four was um, is probably in the nearest like station, like the nearest elevator shaft on the way up. Like is heading that way now. Like is like probably just about to get off duty. Is like taking mm. a look around, making sure. Gotcha. So you uh, are you taking the elevator up to the roots from the forest, or from the roots up to the trunk? I think that sounds right. From the um, the the roots up from the forest gotcha awesome so you are in this sleek glass elevator in a space that looks like it's coming straight out of 2001 a space odyssey everything is clear and chrome and clean and most importantly cool the air conditioning down here in the roots, powered by all of the solar energy pumped in through the metal trunk that is Alamo City, helps keep this space, the space of the influencers, of, well, where all the resources, where all of the money and power of the city is held, the only thing keeping law order, tradition, and most importantly, innovation here in Alamo City, where you all are treated well. Because without you, well, the city's nothing. 
you're moving through this space that is juxtaposed to the kind of brutalistic, suffocatingly cramped upper trunks. There's space down here, here, miles, well over 200 kilometers of space down here, where buildings are given the space to breathe, to be seen, where towers of glass and marble and metal are pristinely statuesque in what is a holographic ceiling showing a pic a picturesque blue sky you're going up this elevator leaving the roots up to the uh, upper trunk when you get the notification on uh, uh on your data pad let uh what does four look like so as the camera focuses in on this into the elevator shaft onto four, you see someone of average height, dark skin. When you look at their face, you realize that most of it's covered. Um, you got slight. It seems like the goggles are slightly rusted. It's glove black for like black uh, lenses, and the rest of their face is covered with a black mask. Um, their fox ears gently move as they hear their little data pad go off. I'm pretty sure they probably have one just because they work down in the forest so everyone can get, like, all the technicians can get to them immediately. Probably mm -hmm. one of those, like, you're working here, this is yours now sort of deals. Um, and they have coarse black hair, slightly... Uh, maroon ends and they have a spider necklace and they seem to have a cropped tank top uh, the jumpsuit that they were wearing as they get closer up they peel it and wrap it around their wrap around the, the sleeves around their waist because it obviously is getting hotter and hotter and hotter mm -hmm. and um as you focus on their waist, you also see that there's a few packs. One very obviously has the sign of uh, the plus of the nurses uh, of a med kit. And, um, and there's a few more on the side. Mm -hmm. And here's Twitch. They pull out their data pad. And they get this somewhat long-winded voice message from unison and nausea and they kind of just like listen take out a small book uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay all right and you receive a text back it's not automatic it's maybe a few like a minute or so afterwards because i'm pretty sure like cell service is nuts in there um on it and that's it. Oh, just just a uh, like received. On it. Oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Um, four. While you're on your data pad and you're like sending off this text off to Unison, you get another notification. Um, mm -hmm. it's from Care. Ooh. Um who you have worked with, you know, they are the kind of go-to uh, sizer here and, uh, well, in the trunks at the very least. And you, uh, you know, your connection to uh, them because, you know, your parents worked with them. You, you talk to them every now and then, but you don't necessarily have, like, the closest relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Um and so the fact that they're even reaching out to you is not necessarily odd, but, you know, it's not the most common. Uh, and you get, uh, you get an, a message from them essentially just saying it. it's another voice message. Mm -hmm. And it says, um, 
Hey, four. Uh, look, I sent someone your way. Um, it it's. Someone else went missing. Um, someone I, I, I kind of know. You know, I, I know there's this whole string of uh, string of uh, people going missing and such. But um, I don't know. Her, her son came in and he seemed real freaked out. And and, and you and y'all were the only ones I really knew to go to for this kind of thing. I, I look. If you could take care of this one for me, that'd be great. Um, I'm. I'm real worried about this as just sorry I get I gotta go but um if you can call me back later uh, I, I just I got a bad feeling is all um if you can yeah all right uh and then it just ends what the fuck Okay. Send someone my way. All right. Puts a note, like alarm, in their data pad for the next, uh, in the next few hours. Like a silent alarm that vibrates for them to mm -hmm. remember to call care if they don't remember before then. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, and you continue your way up. Uh, the glass elevator that leads up to the base uh, level of Alamo City. It's this large <sighs> cement area, probably like three or four miles uh, in diameter. Uh, and it's primarily just a transfer room uh, where long, long lines of people wait to be processed, to be either accepted to go down or frisked before they go back up. Um, and, you know, you've been through this process several times. Your position, actually, uh, with the fabricators uh, essentially gives you an express access pass, uh, similar to kind of like a, uh, in a, a TSA pre-check, essentially. Um where you get the express line and you're able to head straight to one of the direct access uh, elevators to go up or down to whatever level you would like. Bless that um, Alamo City Fast Pass. <laughs> exactly, baby. Uh, and even here, you can already you're you you've already taken off your like kind of heavy material, but it's you can already feel it. You all are like a couple of dozen. Um, levels below the uh, the heat sinks and you can already start to feel the radiating heat coming from up above and you get in the express elevator and start heading up to 713 cutting back over to unison and um and nausea the two of you head on i mean i guess which way are you choosing to go up the uh trying to pay for one of the express elevators uh getting so okay there are different vectors for this either you all can just walk on over to one of the express elevators take it all the way up you can go to one of the non-express elevators, go all the way up. It's free. It's going to take you a lot longer, and it's going to be a lot more uncomfortable. You can hire essentially what is a, a, a taxi, uh, which will allow you onto uh, the freeway elevators. Uh, we'll take some more time, but you're not walking. And some taxis can afford air conditioning. They're a little bit more expensive, uh, but, you know, better than the ones that don't. Um, what, okay. Potentially, could, uh, could Dove, could Unison try to, like, catch a trunk climber that might be headed up? It would be inexpensive, but also maybe fast. Yeah, 100%. So you want to, uh, see if you can, uh, get to one of the trunk climbers? 
Yeah, I think that would be... Uh, that's what I would like to try to do. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I think that makes sense. Let's make this... We can make this a move. Uh, we'll make the first roll of the game. Uh, roll yeah. me a yeah. Roll me a move roll as you try to um, get both. You are you also uh, trying to take the trunk climber with them? I will. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, as you try to navigate the two of you through the uh, complex corridors and hallways and uh, and streets of. Uh, the trunks to make it to one of the exp- uh, the trunk climbers before they head off. Okay. Um, 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 um. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna roll move. Uh, maybe somebody else should roll. Um, no. Um, no, let's hear it, bud. Hey, that's, a, uh, that's a four what's, and a what, two. What's the worst it could be? A That's... four and a two. Okay, hmm. I'm trying to. Hmm, sorry, I'm trying to remember what. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, gang. I'm still learning how to play this game because games are hard to learn sometimes. We hold hands together, learn this yeah, game right? together, one by We're one. Gonna, I guess, yeah. like, what would like the challenge or the reaction be to? Um... Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I guess if. Yeah. What is the reaction? What is? I don't. I don't think I actually have anything to challenge you with because it's not like the city itself has things. Yeah. yeah, unless there's like a crowd of people or something, like we're trying to get yeah. there and it's just like, or maybe like there's a guard, like we're not supposed to be using the trunk climbers for like okay. private yeah, transport. I, okay, I think I know what I'm going to, okay, yes. So essentially what you're doing here is you are trying to get past the crowds of people and the complex geometry of Alamo City as you're making it uh, here. So I'm going to give the city uh, what is essentially going to be a, I guess a, I guess it's moving back. It's, it's moving back against you. Uh, and I'm going to give it three dice for that. What were the numbers you had? Oh, no, it should have four three. and a two. Sorry, sorry. You had a four. If I'm giving it a three, that means you just have to beat that three. I don't roll against that. Oh, okay. So, because you rolled that four, the two of you are able to make it. Um, describe okay. to me what it's look like, or what it looks like as the two of you are essentially, like, <laughs> essentially pushing and running. Not... Not you don't have to be running, but you are moving quickly in a way to be able to get to, um, get to these yeah. before they leave. So, uh, Unison has the adjectives agile, spatial, and ace. So I think Unison is like just kind of flowing through the crowd, like it's like the freaking walk in. Um, I don't know why I just said freaking. Um, it's like the walk in Assassin's Creed where you're like just moving through the crowd, just like gentle touches on shoulders and like just just like gently p- swimming through this crowd, basically. Mm-hmm. And Unison is cutting through them like a hot knife through butter, and I think like leaving a trail in uh, his wake um, towards the the trunk climbers, like just like hey, excuse me, excuse me, hey. I haven't seen you for a while. How you doing, Tony? Hey, hey, hey. I'll catch up yeah. with you. I'll catch up with you. Hey, wait, don't you owe me money? <laughs> hey, hey, what's a little money among friends? What's a few credits? Hey, where's the creds? Friends? Come on. <laughs> As you hey, like are I'll moving get you further next week. and further. I'll get you next week. Hey. Get out of here. Naja, run. Naja, run. Naja, run. Naja, run. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> As they yeah. fall back into the crowd. And Naja is following in that wake, but as the crowd sort of closes back up, is not shy about like using both the cybernetic and the flesh elbow to sort of get people out of mm-hmm. her way. Yeah. So he definitely like elbows the one person asking for money a little harder than is necessary to uh, push through this crowd. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and eventually uh, you all make it to uh one well the nearest trunk climber to you all um it is a lot more simpler than the other elevators i think it does have this kind of faded design along it uh that kind of 
tries to make it seem fun, you know, um, where the like around like framing the door to the elevator and like kind of going up a ways is this like old like kind of cartoony drawing of like a palm tree and like the elevator like in the middle of it you know um and it's a a rather large door and this one's already starting to fill up fast but the two of you are able to slip in through the uh through the crowd to be able to get in before anyone uh, before the door closes on you. Um, and the trunk climbers are actually, uh, they're along the external, like, kind of circumference of Alamo City. So there is. I almost gave you all a view outside. I was about to make this a glass elevator that was outside of it. That would have been so bad. That would have cooked you all over. It would have been very bad for us. It would have been very bad. Humans should not be in there. So hot. No, 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 no. I mean, you should barely be in what it is now. Because I don't Uh, think the trunk climbers are even meant for people to take them. Is that that right? Or... Um, They are... They are made. We made the switch, uh, the the switch okay. between them being freight, uh, since the middle one is now for freight and vehicles. So the trunk climbers can be used by people. While it is faster, it is still n- more uncomfortable as you are uh-huh. closer to the outside. And essentially, you are all in a moderately insulated metal box moving yeah. at high speeds along the superheated metal surface of the palm tree tower that you all live in. Uh, and it takes you up uh, three floors. Uh, it is faster than it would have been uh than had you taken one of the regular elevators, taking maybe somewhere around like an hour and a half before you uh, get to level 713. I think you all exit the, uh, like, the door, like, opens uh, for this level. A crowd of people start trying to push past the people in front of them so they can get out on their floor. Um, And I think for you probably knowing that they were going to be coming up, the, the uh, the trunk climbers are here waiting for them. Up. Uh, oh, oh, that's. <sighs> How'd you get here hey. before us? Weren't you? Yeah, that. You were. You were down. You were in the roots. You were in the forest. How'd you? Whew. Oh, hey, just give sweating. me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even answer your question, because I mean, you know, we're funny. Yeah. Just hey, we. Listen, we we all don't have a fancy pass to take the the air conditioned elevators. All right, some of us are good, honest, hard working smugglers. Yeah, where's that getting you? Got me up to seven thirteen. Just sweaty fine. Sweaty elbow. Hey, I can do the job sweaty. I can do the job greasy. It's fine. Although Please I do need do a shower chip after this. I mean, <laughs> yo, we're, we're going to need to find some place to wash up real quick. We're just like some some wipes, something. I can't be I can't be walking around like this. This is not good business. I think there is a stall nearby the uh, the exit of the tree climbers that sell like perspirants, cleaning supplies, because especially a bunch of people just got off of a superheated elevator. People, it's like this is prime real estate for that. Mm. All right, how much? Uh, how much do you think those run? The <laughs> wipes. Yeah, mm. I'm trying to. Doesn't remember. matter. I'm gonna steal one. Yeah, it would be too much. Yeah, just. Too <laughs> yeah. Much. It's probably it's uh, because of the way that creds work in this game, where they're more for bigger stuff. You all okay. have the money for small things okay, like okay. that. It's not like. You aren't comfortably spending this money. You have okay. enough to yeah. spend enough for what you're doing for your day to day, but it still it hurts the pockets. Okay, no, that's fine. That's totally fine. Then I'll I'll just buy like, hey, you got any like unscented wipes? I like to unscented come from. 
yeah, like I need the scent to come from my like cologne. I don't like I got a perfume. I got a solid I use. It's not well. It's a liquid. I, oh, come on. Oh, but, or just come on. looking at Naja like. <laughs> yeah, okay, listen. I, the wipe needs to be unscented. I can't. I'm not gonna mix two scents. What do you? What, what do I look like? Are you? Come on. I'm, well, I'm, come on. What, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The mint ones. Hey, 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 I don't come here. want mint. Lady, I'm la not... Ladies love the mint. Ladies I'm love the mint. I'm not going to go around uh, like smelling like peppermint. I'm not going to go around spicy. The whole I point think... of being clean is to not smell. And I think we cut from this moment <laughs> on to you all for making your way to the apartment complex. Uh, is there oh, anything you man. all discuss as you all are... I imagine they are right as they arrive to the complex. Like they're just like still looking at uh, at Nub who managed to get maybe like a few probably unscented. But I'm pretty I'm pretty sure like the unscented are high like into high demand because they're unscented. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> so definitely overspent on it. But unscented. I feel like I won. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. You I'm just saying, good. you should have gone with the mint. I think that I've no. heard that Bonnie really no. likes mint. I'm not like. Okay, have listen. you smelt her? Bonnie recently? likes to. Bonnie likes to scent with mint. You gotta choose a complimentary scent. You don't use the same scent. That's a recipe for disaster. Listen, I've been reading all about it in my new book. Uh, I picked it up at the uh, at the bookstore the other day. It's uh, oh, yeah. what was it? What was it? You picked up another was... romance book. Now listen, this one's really good. It's how to attract a life partner in 10 easy steps. And step one is not to copy them. All right? While well, that is one. a good tip, I need you to remind me how many of these books you have. Hey, you know what they say. Seventh one's the charm. Is that what they say? Najin? That's what they say. Anyways, hey, we got a job to do, right? Missing persons. Uh-huh. Sure. As... <laughs> as you all are making your way uh down the again hyper complex series of hallways and streets and stairs that you're needing to take to get to the apartment block in which uh this person lives um as you are you're passing by all of these uh, LED billboards and signs and uh, there are posters and things everywhere uh, for the new elect or for the mayoral election that's uh, in the next month or so um, you're seeing all of these uh, billboards for Ryan Wright the current uh, mayor I'm imagining it's like big uh What's Texas's colors? Red, white, blue. Uh, it's like yeah. this. Yeah, America it's a. Junior. Yeah, right. <laughs> Never could have guessed. It's a split red, white poster with him like big and bold on one side. He's this pale skin, blonde haired, like neatly trimmed, like beard and mustache. Uh, wearing a white button-down shirt, red tie, big cowboy hat, um, and uh, has a gun in there <laughs> in his hand, and it says Ryan Wright, the right choice. Um, uh, and of I'll course, like you know, his hat's nice. Hey, it's a really nice hat. That's I don't, all I'm giving you know, him. I heard a rumor that his hat is actually air conditioned. So it actually blows air down over his body while he's on the podium. I can't believe you took that rumor and went with it. No, no, it makes sense. Look, it's a huge hat. It's it's huge. You're seeing the other signs as well. Um for the uh uh for the incumbent right um it is what are these signs like i think these signs in contrast are green it's just a plain green it's like a plain green field gold stripe 
and on the juxta like the opposite side of Ryan's, uh, you see uh, the incumbent uh, Songi. Um, he is a uh, a bitter uh, bitter tanner uh, skin uh, than uh, than Ryan's sharp jawline can cut through steel with this one um, with shaved head um, a non synth skinned like neck prosthesis where you can tell that the not original neck um and it is like ribbed metal it looks nice and it looks sleek and it and it um connects in a way that seems like seamless but also in a way where you can tell that a surgery has happened there mm. he's wearing a blue button down shirt uh, sleeves rolled up uh, the upper button isn't buttoned it's kind of like leaving open oh uh, my god <laughs> I'm the everyman uh, in my everyman fit. <laughs> um, and uh, he's got a charming smile, kind eyes, uh, and exactly. Um, hey, you know that this is a candidate I can get behind. Yeah. At least Songi knows how to play the game. Every man, easy, understandable, clear, good graphic design. Uh, I'm imagining it says uh, Song uh, Songi, um, the helping uh, the helping hand you've asked for, Damn. the helping hand you need. Yeah, what? Well, hmm, hold on, I'm trying to find the best way to phrase this. If anyone has ideas, please feel free to throw them out as well. Uh, the helping hand you never knew you needed. I don't know. No, it's got to be no. quick, snappy. It's got to be quick. It's got to be snappy. Maybe it's maybe it's Even like better. a bunch of things. Like maybe it's the helping hand, and then it like slides across like you need, uh, the helping hand. Uh, uh, oh, no, I don't want know what else. need, want need deserve deserve. deserve. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I do like that. It changes. I like that where it says the helping hand you need you deserve you want and it like kind of does like a slideshow through those three options um and ev and eventually you all get to the apartment block and you make your way through the many different corridors uh using all of the different reference material uh posted on it almost as if it was like a dewey decimal system of organization of apartments uh and eventually you find the apartment um that is listed on the order and as the three of you walk up you see that the door is open uh, and inside, uh, as, like, one of you, like, kind of takes a peek, uh, like, just kind of through the door and down, you can see that down the hallway, sitting on a couch, is, uh, a young man, probably somewhere in his, like, early, mm -hmm. like, late teens, early 20s, uh, sit, uh, like, sitting on the arm of the couch, facing towards the hallway that leads out where you all are head down, like elbows on knees and like right knee bouncing. Um, he hasn't noticed that you're all are there yet. And as you all get there, we're going to take our first break. So, hey, gang. Uh, yeah. Thanks for sticking with us so far. Uh, now things are about to get real spicy. But first... Uh, go take a bio break, get some water, go, go to the bathroom, go stretch, do whatever you need to kind of refresh yourself, and we will be back here, uh, we'll give it 
we're just like one minute past the 20 yeah. which is going to make me want to say we do 10 minutes and come back on an even 30 uh so let's do that we'll be back in nine minutes everybody and we will see you then thanks for sticking with us bye for now see you in just a sec and we are clear
now they can. Hello. <laughs> we are back, everybody. Um, Alyssa, can you say something for me really quick? Just hello, hello. I'm okay, saying cool. things. Sorry, I was just making sure your mic was working. That on OBS. Just want to make sure we're all good. Um, we have Stream Cat. Go look at that cat. Look at that cat. Look at that guy. Yeah, hi, uh -huh. Say hi. Hi. Hey. Okay. Hi. Before I get too distracted by this wonderful cat, <laughs> let us get back in. <laughs> we have a kidnapping to investigate, I think. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so, yes, the three of you just arrived uh, at the door of, uh, well, the person who sent in the uh, order receipt. Uh, you have seen them. They are sitting on uh, the arm of the couch, kind of facing the doorway that you are all... Uh, not necessarily crowded. You all can be kind of positioned in any way, shape, or form near or around this door but you are all at the door and they are not aware of uh your presence quite yet who's got point on this one i mean they just lost someone right it should probably be one of you hey didn't you uh didn't you recognize the name Yeah. I guess. Oh, um, hey. Or have you heard of this person, uh, Manali? Does the name sound familiar to Four? Um. Yes. Your parents have probably worked with uh with her alongside uh, uh alongside care. Um. There is a Carmina uh, Manali that works uh that has worked with uh care mark every now and then uh she does not work in house for care uh but is a colleague a uh a uh she is a uh, a uh, a programmer a cyberware uh technician uh certified by uh babel uh technologies um pretty usually does above board kind of work uh, working with uh, updating programming software for cyberware as well as uh, has some technical ability as far as installing and uninstalling cyberware. We're kind of tech related. But oh. I probably only know them the same way you do. Oh, but right. great. Another connection? Four should take point. Hey, Four, you got this. But, uh, you know, be be gentle. Like, they got somebody close to them that's missing. It's, uh, you know, they seem distraught. Look at them. Bouncing their leg all over the place. Wasting calories. Getting hot. Yeah. Got it. You, you got this. And I, like, I'll give Four, like, the most limp, but it meant to be encouraging shoulder pat, like, <laughs> you guys have got to get better at your soft skills. Just <laughs> lean in. <laughs> That's why we're sending you on point. I'll put you down. Um, leans in, gently knocks on the door. Uh, you see, uh, their head kind of uh, pops up a little bit. Uh, Acknowledging your knock on the door, and uh, you see their eyes are red, puffy from uh, crying, and uh, see like sees you and goes, oh, "Sorry," <clears throat> and gets up and kind of speed walks over to you and says, "Hi, hey, sorry. Are you um, are you all um, private eyes?" private eyes yeah do you need some water oh, oh I'm, would you I'm, like to sit down and tell us what's going on uh, i think you should sit yeah as uh you see them there they are this 
um, kind of like five four, uh, kind of average build, a bit of a gut, uh, wearing a tight fitting, uh, like crop top and a like not leather because leather would be so hot, uh, like a kind of like a lightweight, uh, like neon jacket or not like even like a jacket like kind of like a vest um definitely someone who works up uh works further up uh in the factories or or something like that um they are uh kind of broadly featured um kind of darker skin coarse hair uh uh with hat they have like um uh, side, like, shaved sides, but, like, dreads that are, um, uh, like, kind of tucked over to the other side. Uh, you can see that there's definitely some cyberware going on, uh, cranially, uh, around where that shaved side is. Um, and they invite you all in, uh, closing the door behind you, and you enter this space. Uh, it is clean uh in a way that a lot of spaces aren't cleaned in the kind of way where someone was moving it seems packed up a bunch of stuff um but there are no moving boxes or anything like that there is no signs that anyone was living here at least in this space in this living room that you're entering um it's closed there's no real windows in here there's the artificial lighting uh and the fake windows that come stock with a lot of these apartments that give like an led like hologram uh view of you know customizable can look like whatever you want uh right now it's turned off um there is it's kind of like a this looks like a pretty stock uh like one bedroom apartment uh that kind of comes with uh, a lot of these places um but yeah it seems very empty in here as they kind of lead you in uh they go to one of the cabinets above a little sink area open it up and take out a a small almost kind of like a little bigger than like a whiskey glass uh plastic uh cup um to uh pour uh themselves some water uh and like they turn on the tap and like there's like steam and then like a few drops and then nothing uh they've already turned off the water to this place um and or, you see, hey, hey, don't worry, yeah. don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna go get you something. Just, just, just give me a second. I'm gonna slide out to go buy some, like, water on the street or something. Like maybe a, I don't know, whatever. Like a lime cooler or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The two of you are left in here with this person who's kind of just standing over the sink now, like, just like shuts off the water kind of puts the cup down and just has hands on the sink looking in it head down almost kind of forgetting that the two of you are even here Four kind of looks at Naja and like doesn't say anything as if to give this person like a moment to recollect themselves because they obviously need like just a moment <laughs> I imagine it like Oh, how sad you could be, and then you see that the water's turned off as if you aren't sad enough about your friend going missing. <laughs> mm. So maybe think, like 30 seconds pass. And I then... think that's enough time for me to get the water yeah. from a nearby like vending machine or whatever, and like start pouring it for them on my return. And like it's a completely silent room, but for the sound of water filling the shot glass. And uh, as, like, the sound, like, kind of finishes, they look over and they go, Thanks. Um, sorry. I'm... I... It's my mom. Um... 
she was supposed to she was exograding you see uh, she got this contract uh with Babel technologies she was supposed to head on up there uh like two days ago and I got a message from them today saying that uh she never she never uh, clocked in for work up there um and I, and I know my mom she wouldn't she wouldn't she wouldn't bail like that she's she's a hard worker you see she um it was her dream job she she wouldn't just like leave uh like that and uh so uh, i um i don't just know just so we're I, clear your aaron oh yeah i'm so uh, aaron uh, no, it's okay. You don't have to apologize. I'm just... So you're telling... Just and more clear. Carmina Manali is missing. So, so you know her? Yeah, I'm... Um, I'm her son, Aaron. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, yes, tell us more about your mom. Okay. Um she's uh she uh she's a, a software engineer and a cyberware technician. She uh she she's done some work around uh, uh she's done some work with Care. Actually Care is the one who who pointed me in your direction. Um Yeah, she she was supposed to go up. She she was uh, supposed to be working on uh I don't know. It's all. Hey, hey, hey! You know, make it easy. She, calm down, calm down. You got a, you got I'm a picture so, of your yeah. mom? Uh, yeah, picture, yeah. Picture, description, uh, something like that, something to go off. Yeah, uh, he uh, takes out uh, a like small like data pad communicator, uh, and like kind of goes through uh, some files and opens up uh, a picture of uh, him and his mom. Uh, you see that. Um, she is, uh, this older looking woman, uh, dark skinned. Um, she has, uh, kind of braided, uh, has like a, sh like short braided hair, uh, that has been kind of tied into like a low ponytail. You keep it out of her eyes and you can see that she is working. Uh, this is like, um, this is a photo that, uh, Aaron has taken uh, ob like ve obviously very candid for her. Uh, where he's Take like doing like a day. yeah, like doing like One a selfie, films. exactly doing like a selfie with his mom. She's like hard at work, uh, looking over like um like mechanical pieces on like a I'm workbench. So proud of my mom, quick. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those photos. Um, she oh. seems surprised in this photo but like in that kind of way where she's happy still where like there was that moment where she was surprised and she's like oh and then like it's like halfway in between the smile that she tries to make for the picture mm -hmm. um yeah they seem happy in this photo Thank you. Hey, uh, you, uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my, um, I'm gonna give you my email. You, you send that to me. You send that to us, and we'll, uh, we'll, you know, you know, we'll help us look out for. Her. But uh, I'm gonna ask you a couple more questions, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to answer as honestly as you can. Now, there's this thing that happens sometimes where people tell us what they think we want to hear, or what we need to hear. Because they think we won't help them otherwise. I need you to not do that. I need you to tell me everything as exactly as you know it. Don't make anything up. Don't assume anything. Just the facts. Just things you know. Can you do that for me, Aaron? Yeah, I can do that. As Dove is uh, getting ready to ask questions, like behind, like Four takes out like a small notebook and like mm -hmm. licks a pen. All right, Aaron. When was the last time you saw your mom? Oh, I, 
I saw her probably about four or five days ago. I, I was helping her pack, you know. Um, okay. We were in here. Uh, just uh, we spent all day here uh, packing, you know. It was a b big move, taking everything she she owned up there. Um, mm. Okay. All right. So you uh, it's just you and your mom, right? Yeah. No, uh, uh, no other parent in the picture. No, uh, my stepmom uh, left uh, a while ago. Um, also okay. exaggerated, but uh, she didn't. Um, she didn't. All right. I understand. Yeah. Hey, it's all right. Listen, I'm. Uh, go ahead. And, you don't need to go into any great detail, but. Just send me your stepmom's information. We'll just give a little checkup, make sure that, uh, you know, she's where she's supposed to be. You know, oftentimes there can be conflict that, you know, you might not be privy to as, you know, a kid. But we're going to we're going to check that out. We're going to cover the bases. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you'll get us that. Now, let's see here. Your mom. Uh, pretty big change. Exo Grayton. Leaving the planet. You said uh contract with Babel, right? Yeah. As a um software uh you know, engineer and stuff. I, I guess she was gonna go up there and work on some new cyberware or something. I don't know. Uh they they keep things hush hush. I I don't I don't know too much about it. Okay. Working on new cyberware. For Babel, yeah. and I'm just gonna look at uh, at uh, at four, just to be like, all right, that might be a lead. Um, your mom. She, if if it helps, uh, it was uh, she was, I guess, a part of this program. They were uh, Babel was paying for Exograton um, for uh, it was a contract essentially that she signed. It she promised a certain amount of. I, I don't know the details. She said it was a couple of years worth of work uh, for them to be able to pay it off. But uh, now that she's not showing up, they're saying uh, we got 15 days for her to check in or um, will we pay the costs of or I pay the cost of uh, what it was going to take to get her up there. That's a lot of money. All right. I imagine you're not sitting on a couple hundred thousand credits. <laughs> no, no, sir. Not not me. I'm just um, just a heavy uh, heavy machinery technician up there, and uh, I, I I I work the fans. Okay, that's that's good work, but doesn't pay fair. So. I hate to ask this, but did your mom have any enemies or arguments or people she owed money, even, you know, small amounts over time? They could kind of build up. So anything yeah. like that. Who doesn't owe somebody money here? Uh, I don't have names, though. Mostly, as far as I knew, it was small things between her f friends and stuff like that. Nothing big. No enemies. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Nobody, Nobody was coming knocking. No, no, nothing like that. Okay. Well, before it speaks up. So you haven't seen her in the past five days. We had talked uh, on the phone. She, she said that uh, she. And you see that, like he kind of looks down, like and kind of remembering, like uh, she. She did message me when she got to the when she got to the skyport. Um, so I, I know she at least made it there. What'd she say? She was just checking in, let, letting me know that she had just gotten out of, uh, gotten out of, she hired a taxi, uh, to get there. Um, she was just letting me know that taxi dropped her off and then she was, uh, checking into security. Um, it was going to board. Um, and it seemed I, like her. I mean, yeah, I didn't think too I much about it. It was mean to alarm you. 
I really don't. I'm just thinking that if she might have been kidnapped, she may not ever have arrived at Skyport and someone could have just told you that with her phone. But why was why would someone kidnap Ma? She ain't she ain't done nothing wrong. She uh, she she ain't wrong nobody. She ain't have enemies. She's she just, just a nice another, lady. Just... She does seem like a nice lady. I have another question for you. Before she left, did anything seem off? Did she seem frazzled in any sort of way? No, was she forgetting me. things that she never seems to usually forget? Anything that seemed slightly off kilter for your mother? I mean, no, not that I can think of. I mean, she's, you know, she's, she was about to move, right? Like that is, it was a big move. Like she, regular anxieties of that. And, you know, of mm-hmm. course all the other kid, you don't, you don't think, you don't think person doing all these other kidnappings, you don't think they got my mom, hey. like what? Why would, hey, we don't know that. We don't know that. All right? You, That's what we're trying to figure out. Yeah, they yeah. kind of, like, move back over towards the couch with, like, the water in their hand and just kind of, like, splay out on it. Like, thinking of now about all of the possibilities of what has happened and obviously, like, starting to, like, they're starting to, like, uh, 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 hyperventilate a little bit as they're like, no, Ma, you can't. For very quickly, like, kicks in and kneels down and eyes kind of level, well, eyeglasses kind of level with Aaron. Look at me. Deep breath in. Hold. One. Two. Three. And... Exhale. One, two, three. And then kind of guides. Yeah. And like that me, for a little bit. Yeah. Can you give me a coax roll on this as you are OMG. trying to? It seems I like what try. is what is the adjective that you are trying to place onto, um, onto Aaron right now as you're walking him through uh, this breathing exercise? I feel like it's kind of a mixture of technical and steady because the technical behavior of routines past mm-hmm. kick in for four. Mm-hmm. And because they are pretty calm, usually, they're just trying to be just as, like, they're trying to reflect their steadiness enough yeah. that Aaron takes it and tries to, like, steady himself. Yeah. What is the, okay awesome what is the adjective that you were trying like what is if you were if you were to describe the adjective of what aaron is after this action happens be it calm or be it relaxed or be it you know whatever that is steady Um, probably would be good steady yeah. yeah that makes sense um awesome so you can go ahead and roll me this coax roll. I will say that um, you can push this if you would like to make this adjective sticky so that it will last longer um, if you would like. Uh, but you will um, have to use one of your push dice in order to do so. Cool. Um, I think... I will. Is that just one extra dice? Please remember. That is correct. Yeah, it would be one of your push dice. So currently you should have three push dice. You would be spending one in order to do this. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, of course. So I'll take my two Cokes and one push, right? Yeah. Thank you. Of course. There it goes. Well, that's okay. (laughs) That's fine. Oh, it's okay. Um... I got a th- three, a five, and a four. 
Okay, yeah, no, the five will do it. So I will take that push dice from you. Uh, take it. Just, just take it on. Take it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, and awesome. So yeah, you uh, give him steady and is sticky. And he follows your breathing uh, regimen that you're giving him right now. And he kind of locks eyes with you. You can see that his hands go to his knees and he kind of clenches tightly uh, mm -hmm. at them in order to kind of ground himself as he does this breathing with you. And you can see that he starts to calm down. Sorry, I, um, I just, um... You do not have to apologize at all for anything. I, I, Keep that in mind. You're going through a lot right now. But you gotta take it easy and one step at a time, okay? Okay, uh, um... We're gonna help you the best we can, okay? Thank you. Thank you being here um I, um i don't know you can look and he just full on like gives you his uh communicator that shows correspondence with him and uh his mom uh, and you see uh it's literally the last well it's not the last text you see that there are a couple of messages from him to her being like where are you you know did I just got a you know I just got a message from Babel saying you know all of this stuff you're not there mom please respond I'm coming over yada 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 um and you kind of scroll through that and you get to the last message that she has sent him and it seems like a pretty standard like hey made it to, uh, made it to the skyport boarding soon hmm okay can we um. Can we copy his data pad real quick? Yeah. Let's export that bad boy. Yeah, yeah let's export that. You probably have the best data port, so I think it's going to go on yours. <laughs> I got um, it. Don't worry. Hey, uh, Aaron, you got you got a place to stay? You're not you're not staying here, are you? No, I uh, I I got my own place. Uh 719. Okay. 719 okay go ahead and uh send us your information Aaron, and uh you know we're gonna be in contact we'll probably have more questions for you but if anything else comes up or if anyone tries to get in contact with you that normally doesn't anything like that you let us know if it's unusual you let us know honestly if it even seems like we're trying to get in contact with you we should have a word so he knows it's us. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, you uh, you into you into poetry, Aaron? Um, no. Okay. I, I was gonna keep it simple, something like the phrase "grade A" or I don't know. Grade A is not bad. All right, grade A it is. Yeah. If a message from any of us doesn't contain the phrase "grade A." Don't just ignore it. Forward it to one of us directly. Don't yeah. say anything. Don't, you know, don't comment on it, but just let us know what happened. All right? All right. Just in uh, case. Yeah, I, I can do that. All right. We'll, uh, we'll be in touch, my friend. And uh, we'll do what we can. Don't, don't worry about the, uh, don't worry about payment for the moment. You know, uh, I, when we I, find your mom's, we'll uh, you know, we'll take it out of her salary. I, I got a little bit saved up. I was, um, I was starting to put together a, a, a little fund for when I was gonna uh, try to move up uh, with her. Uh, it's yours if you can find her. Works fine for us. All right, Aaron. You hang tight, all right? Yeah. You see, he's gripping the water. Uh, like, you can see that, like, the plastic of this cup is... It's bending. 
it's 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 bending almost to its breaking point of uh of of what's going on with this cup Uh, he he is stressed raiders hello hi Hi. welcome welcome thanks for joining us things are sad right now (laughs) things are sad Um, yeah, I, so excuse you, me. I just need a little moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, gonna... The moment you pause, like, he's, I, I was just saving up for him. Like, he was going to go up for his mom. He was going to go up to try to visit his mom. But uh, she, she didn't even make it up there, so. And did she? <laughs> we, we'll go find out, hopefully. We'll yeah. see. All we know is she made it to the airport. Do we? Know. Well, well, we don't, but we yeah, think. Like, can Fora look through, <laughs> right. like, can Fora look through um, a little bit further before the frantic messages from Aaron and see kind of what Carmina's, like, te- like, does it look like this, te- this last text from her? Does it look similar to how she's normally texting here? You are going back through the previous text, and... Carmina, Carmina kind of texts a bit like a mom, um, where it's like, it's not stilted, but it's, and it's not like, you know, I mean, you know, purely by the profession that she has, that she is not tech illiterate, right? She, she works with technology all the time. You get the sense that she maybe doesn't feel that comfortable communicating digitally. Uh, through this, where things feel kind of awkward, where, uh, and, uh, she usually has, like, lots of typos, and then we'll do, like, the, uh, and then we'll do, like, the, uh, the, the fixing of the typo and, like, an asterisk, and it's, like, sometimes that'll be fucked up, and then she'll have to send, like, another one that, that, that fixes that one. Um, so, so, like, in comparison to those it feels a bit stilted in that way where it is just the message perfectly spelled Uh. yeah there it is oh god four is like oh no i was right (laughs) let's let's i think I think when I see four like going through the phone and like finding stuff, I'm gonna be like, "All right, we're gonna we're gonna head out and start ushering everyone towards the door," because like I can see like the calm on uh, Aaron is there, but it's like, "Hey, we don't want to let's not put this in jeopardy." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and like I'm just gonna like rush us or like push us towards like a a central area, like kind of like a calm area, or like. Maybe not calm. Calm's the wrong word. Someplace uh, public and central and, like, with some foot traffic, but with enough background noise that we're not going to be overheard easily. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Yeah, you all uh, make your way out of... uh, You can find, essentially, like, a small... It's not, like... It's a shared space within, like, this uh, portion of the apartment block. Uh, It's not, like comfortable it's just like a plain room there's some benches here there's like an open window that goes out into like you can see the rest of this level it's not a great view it's literally just looking into another apartment block uh that's across the way that maybe also has a window that's looking out this way and um, yeah, you can find a little space here to kind of converse amongst yourselves, uh, out mm-hmm. of, like, any kind of walkway where m- people are, you know, where you'll be in the way of other people and such. Okay. So, this isn't looking good. Lack of information, lack of details, this, this seems a lot like those, uh, the kidnappings that have been going on for a while. This is, uh... This might not have a happy ending, but she did. You got a couple leaks. Yeah, what'd you uh what'd you find on that their data pad? Your face lit up like a Christmas tree. Absolutely did not get to the skyport. She texts like my mom. 
You see this? And she and they scroll up. You see how she's fixing every typo here. Like uh. every typo, even the typos that have typos, the fixings of those. Mm. And then yeah. scrolls down to the last message. And do you see how she didn't even acknowledge he was worried about her? With this perfectly worded last message. That bitch did not get to the Skyport. Hey, 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 that's a classy lady. I don't, I don't need to be calling him a bitch. Hey. You can be a bad bitch. You can be a bad <laughs> bitch. All right. right. You know what? As I was far as I'm concerned, baby. she is a bad bitch. Look at how hard she's working. Regardless, said bad bitch did not get to the Skyport. I I gotta agree. Doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like she made it there. But I'll tell you what, we got a couple of leads there. We got a uh, let me see here, and I think like uh, uh, Dove pulls out like, or maybe not even pulls out his data pad, but is like scrolling through the the little like feed or no he doesn't have that i didn't i couldn't afford that um i imagine though like they probably have like a google doc like a google drive for the private eyes or something that's encrypted so like when or was taking notes on their data pad like whatever whatever dove has that can access that okay it's like okay so i'm looking at your notes i'm looking at your notes (laughs) but i'm like hey okay so we got the taxi driver that dropped her off that might be a lead if we can ID, if we can id the taxi driver we can see how far she got or if there's a suspicious lack of her on any you know receipts or records we also got the skyport cameras we could start there if we start at the skyport and work our way back to try and like track her to the last place we can find her you know that might be something or uh you know we got a couple of we got a couple people who we don't owe a ridiculous amount of money we got we got some leaks. Do we know we any contacts. Babel folk? Babel, Babel, Babel. Uh, do we know any Babel? Folk? I don't think so. I with explicit ties. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Or at I least don't... we don't have a connection. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. None of you currently have a connection that has direct ties to Babel. Only people who would have ties with with people who have ties with Babel, and those yeah, would probably is. be. Uh, imagine Pocket probably does. Um, there's a chance process does. Uh, he shouldn't, but he does. He shouldn't, but he might. <laughs> yeah. They're like, how did you get my number? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's say we start at the skyport, see if we can find it on the cameras. Yeah. And while we do that, I do think I know someone who might have some rumors we can uh feed off of. And kind of goes into their data pad. And if, scroll. Yeah? Oh, I was just going to say, if we think that she didn't make it to the skyport at all, shouldn't we start searching from cameras around here that day? Hey, we can do that, yeah. Let's, uh, let's find a, let's find some place to tra- patch in. See if we can track her. Sounds good okay. by me. And okay. they send a message Big capital letters. It just says SIB at the top. And it just says very low. It's a lowercase. And it's for some reason, I feel like these two have this side of just SOS. Ooh. Okay. Cool. What is the usual response to like an SOS? Is it like, okay, we need to meet, we need to have a call? Like, what is the usual go to response for that? Eyes emoji. <laughs> Eyes emoji. <laughs> From me? <laughs> that's like the only, that's all it is at first. Okay, okay. Yeah, after yeah. a few minutes, it's like, Okay, this is where we'll meet. Okay, gotcha. 
You sent so, me an SOS? <laughs> gotcha. So yeah, 100%. So uh, you send the SOS. It's like seconds after that where you get I emoji, I emoji, question mark, question mark, question mark as like a separate one. For real? <laughs> I roll emoji <laughs> sent back <laughs> like <laughs> don't make me ask again asterisk no sorry sighing emoji sending <laughs> coordinates for the apartment block that uh they're currently in cool awesome all right uh so uh you all are are you all i guess it sounds like you all are heading into to like a security node somewhere that you can yeah uh, patch we're looking into. for a security node i guess or like a, a, some loose wires or a loose panel <laughs> something like that loose. okay got it i'm imagining that the security as far as like okay <laughs> typically the cctv network that connects all of the camera systems and such uh for security and other purposes uh within alamo city are all like all of that wiring and uh connections uh lead to central security nodes on each of the floors each of those nodes are typically around or in um the uh, security facilities for the well Alamo City local uh, policing unit, uh, ICSAC, uh, Icarus Security. Um, you can find ways. It that is the most direct way. If you go there, talk to ICSAC. They can. You can petition for access to records uh, and um, uh, uh, and recordings from CCTV. If you all have the proper paperwork and docu. Uh, documentation of your profession, why you would need them. You have to essentially do all of that. And then, of course, you pay the fee uh, to be able to have access to the security footage for an allotted amount of time. Uh, that is the most straightforward way. Or uh, the wiring technically does run throughout the entire floor, so you can try to find a place that has that kind of access to that stuff, it might be limited based on what area those uh, those wiring and connections are to. And it also, in order to get in through that, you're going to have to do a bit of hacking to be able to get into it. And at that point, it becomes illegal. <laughs> uh, yeah. And while free, and you don't have to deal with ICSEC, if you get caught, um, there might be some issues. Right. We can try legit first, I suppose. Up to you. Uh, yeah. You wanna, y'all wanna talk to Ixac? We can give it a shot. It might work. How long is the processing time usually? Like, is it like if you pay them, they'll do it fast, or is it like three weeks of waiting for paperwork to go? It depends on how. It depends on a the priority of the request. B. Uh, the people asking see if you pay the premium rate you can get x uh, you can get the express um processing which uh could you know you can get it done in like 12 hours uh, a good thing to have going on in the background at least yeah Maybe. i'll um i'll put in like a quick little like request i guess like i'll fill out a request real quick yeah you can you can sit uh send in a they have like uh they have like a website that you can go to to send on uh an application uh online uh how um how expensive is this express fee that we're talking about how um, many I would, yeah i would say the normal uh the normal so the regular one which could take like two to three days for processing uh probably cost like two creds and then the express one is four i got zero creds y'all <laughs> i have a credit right. but is it worth it is it worth it fam i, I know have... it really ain't it really just it's... ain't how much is it again how much is it four, four creds, creds for, for the, the express. express two for the regular one 
I technically have nine creds. I mean, did you I not spend creds, your just, money? Or did I? No, I took I took the debt to um. You to did Bonnie. take the debt. You have excess money. Yes. Yeah. So I took the debt to Bonnie. So I do have nine creds. Um, <laughs> I have eight creds too. I'm happy someone else also has money. I'm. I was afraid it was just gonna be. <laughs> Okay. I'm going a hey, I'm I'm going to pay the expedite fee and hopefully we make it up, but you're paying half the expedite fee. Hey. I appreciate that. Thank you. And I'm just going to like shake hands with four real quick as I painfully put in the request and then we like Venmo each other, I guess, but it's <laughs> yeah. like damn, we're it's... sending the same $5 <laughs> between our, our private ice cream. Right. Yeah. Same, same I'm, five I'm, there's all these tallies on the wall in the agency that show who owes who, but if you add them all together, it literally cancels out. Yeah. No one's made any money. Um, that's so that's so funny. It's perfect. I yeah. Hey, she's been missing five days already. Any any additional two, time? Uh, well, or two days? She was supposed to leave two days ago. That is when. Okay, gotcha. The that is when like hey I'm leaving and hey I made it was sent. Uh, the okay, last gotcha. time he saw her in person was five days ago. Gotcha. Okay. 48 hours is pushing it. You know You know what they say? First 48, if you don't find them, give up. I think that's the saying, right? That's what I heard. Something like that. Yeah. They got, they got that show, 48 hours, then we give up. It's actually it's actually pretty good. Richard Dreyfuss Jr. is in it. And they made a spin-off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, I love that. Good. I love that actually. That's that's real good. You know, we yeah. gotta we never watch TV together anymore. We gotta fix that. First we, we gotta get a TV couch. in the office. Couch, then TV. Okay, better couch, then TV. Yeah. If we're watching TV, we need a better fan in there too. Okay. Better couch, TV, fan. Maybe we do the fan Wait, before the see. TV, because the TV okay. will make everything hot. Fan TV couch. Sure, yeah, that works. Yeah, I just I up I update like the the shared Google Doc that we all have. Just goals. A priority list of the TV goal. couch. Oh, yeah, I love it. Speaking I... of goals, there though, Dub, what was that about us not needing to get paid? Hey, I'm saying no. We're not going to get paid till. Listen, here's the thing. We're going to get the money. We're going to get the money after. Hey, yeah. all we gotta do, we gotta find out. Contract just says find. Find can mean find information. Plus, the kid <laughs> works up in the fans. He's not gonna. You want fan money? I'm I, gonna put I, him out of house and home. Has Nadja ever cared about where we got money from? I, I know we haven't known them long, but. <laughs> I didn't She's want to bring it up. It's morbid. Definitely doesn't really care it's about. It's really morbid. I didn't want to bring it up, but if she had a contract with Babel, she's gonna have life insurance. It's not gonna cover the cost of getting her up there, but it'll cover our fee. I'm, I'm just saying it may not be behoove us to bring up the fact that we can get our money through the life insurance for his mother. You okay. see how that might be a non-starter. As long as you're not like, oh no, this poor kid, he lost his mom. He can't also lose these creds. No, we're going to get paid. But I'm saying it's, it's about tact. It's about decorum. Okay. Okay. Just making sure. Speaking of money, you didn't put in for this request. So I don't know why you're talking. <laughs> exactly. I need the money. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. You two um, done? All right. Uh, how long is the request going to take? Like, even uh, is it a couple hours? It's still 12 it's tw hours. It's, tw it's, it's still, still the expedited is, is still 12 hours. You do oh, see that God. it's gotten approved and it has like a timer, like estimated timer, and it's counting down from 12 hours. All right. What else Great. we got? What else we got? You want to. Got the cabbie. We could track. We could try to talk to cabbie, see if we can get a lead on who might have taken a fair. You know, uh, maybe, uh, maybe we talk to, maybe we talk to Mealhack. See if one of Mealhack's runners found her. Saw her. Yeah. Hi. Anyone got a better idea or Mealhack? Sounds like a good idea. 
Yeah. Now we got 12 hours to spend, so spend I'll need them to wisely. step away for uh, an hour, but I'll be back soon. Okay. Okay. All cool. right. All right. We'll go talk to Mealhack. Yeah. I'll just meet I you wonder. there. He'll probably be at the square, right? It's one of those days. Zero Beal there. Uh, where it, do you think Mealhack? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. somewhere around there. Yeah. You know, Mealhack's uh, always where you're, where you're least expected. You know, you know, Zero has a schedule day at the market, right? Yeah, like a scheduled day, but I'm saying every time I turn around, I'm talking about meal hack. Meal hack's right there. It's literally like always underfoot. It's amazing. For jokingly, but it seems very like, like, turns and looks as if <laughs> as meal hack's going to be right behind us. Behind. You see a shadow move and the <laughs> run, run around a corner. <laughs> <sighs> okay, but oh, that might not have. That could have been. One of the runners, but that's still. Hey, we got. Hey, you taking messages? <laughs> you I think almost had some. I think he you had you some. you hear the shuffling of feet <laughs> as like a form peers around the corner, not enough to be seen, but you do make out like a hood and gotten like thick goggles. Um... And they just, and like, the form just kind of stands there and waits. Hack, holy hell. <laughs> you are uncanny. Sup? Alright, listen. We got a missing persons case. We don't, we're waiting on the data request from security. You got, a, you got any runners who might have been around this apartment block and I give like the number? Uh, of specifically that uh, the mom's apartment. You got anyone who was doing any deliveries around 48 hours ago in this area? Might have seen a woman looks like this holding up the photo. Uh, Z still like from like around the corner. You see uh, Z like takes your finger like adjust the goggles uh, as like as if it's like zooming in uh, <laughs> uh, to the picture that you're holding up like a good 15 20 feet away from them uh, and uh, Z like uh, puts it back and you just hear from around the corner I can talk to the boys and they go back <laughs> and they disappear behind the corner you're the best we love you, Meal Hack. You're fucking incredible. I trust Meal Hack with my life. Me too, honestly. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Good service. You can't be your best service in Alamo City. Anytime you need anything, you know, one day, one day, you know, I forgot to pay, you know, the little stipend for uh, what you call it for the. Uh, uh, you know, the all purpose cleaning gel. Needed to clean the place up. Had some guests coming over. Meal Hack was there when I opened my front door. I didn't ask for anything. Meal Hack was there with freaking Dr. Bronner's, and I was able to clean the whole place. It was Dr. incredible. Dr. Bronner's, get me out of here. <laughs> Dr. Bronner's, I can't. <laughs> Anytime you let me talk, I'm going to say something a brand i need it hey dr brothers you want to sponsor us you can have me <laughs> you can um, add us onto your text label you could probably fit us in there somewhere yeah um you all get a which one of you have connections with meal hack again i've got trust uh, in meal hack. i love loyal trust. to him which is why I have no connection. Well, <laughs> understand, yeah, no, understandable. With my life. The two <laughs> of you get a ping uh, from Meal Hack. Like, Z's added you to, like, a group chat uh, and just says... Just hundreds of runners or just us. Okay. Yeah, no. Two, the two of you, one, uh, them, and one other person uh, okay. whose number you don't have. Uh, and Z's the first one to, uh, to message. Uh, and Z says... 
I'm trying to decide if you I'm doing do the, the voice. voice. Okay, you yeah, have yeah. to do the voice. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Got some info for you. I love that's the pack. that's the first one. The second Zero one was gone for like five seconds. Yeah, no, this that's... is Ibrahim speaking. I Holy love shit. Meal Hack. Meal Hack is like the a god amongst ED sort of seller. Meal Hack is amazing. This is the Resident Evil Four like. Uh, <laughs> Got some gear for you. No, like he's <laughs> always there when you need him the most. Like, he's always there yeah. when you need him the most. Like it's always like. Yeah. Uh, and you see, uh, <laughs> so yeah, the first, uh, the first one Zier sends is, got some info for you. One cred, and like a QR Instant. code for <laughs> Instant. the and okay. instantly. Oh Fucking my gosh. Like. And then Not it just, uh, and then it uh, just says. Payment confirmed. And Zir leaves the chat, leaving the two of you with the one person. Uh, uh, and uh, that person sends a photo of what looks like a screenshot of what was probably like uh, camera, f- like um, camera footage from like a truck or something like you know one of the like dashboard cams. Um, and it shows uh, her. Uh, it, it, it shows uh, Carmina getting into uh, the taxi cab. Um, it is a what's the name uh, what's the name of the company of this taxi service? Uh, it is going to be named okay uh, it's uh, it's Pegasus Ooh, I like this. Uh, sorry it is called Butterflight. Uh, it's a sp- okay. it's a sp- it's a specific uh it's a specific taxi cab service that takes people to and from the skyport. Uh you said it's butterflight like one- is it spelled like butterfly g h t? Yes. Okay, thank you. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> to and fro the skyport. Is there a license plate visible? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can get the license plate number off of it. Okay, I'll send, if I can attach that as, like, an image to our security request to get a trace on that cab as well as on Carmina, I would like to do that. Uh, so if, like, Carmina is... and the cab go separate you directions, You can update the ticket that. request, like, yeah, update you... it with more info. You can update the ticket request, it's going to cost more. <laughs> what? <laughs> Updating the ticket request costs more. How much more? It's another cred. Just one more cred. cred. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, uh, can you uh, can you spot me on this one? <laughs> four, four's got you. Like okay, all cool. right. Yeah, it's updated. The yeah. timer resets. So if so now, oh come on! It wasn't. It okay. like it had gone down like ten it was minutes. Like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't but, okay, that. So bad, if Carmina and the taxi reset. ever split directions, we'll now have a trace on both. Correct. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Damn it. I'm down. <laughs> you you all wanted to play in the cyberpunk city. You all wanted to all... learn the depths of capitalism. This is why I specifically have more money saved. This is why I'm I'm like, I know you're going to make me spend money. Of course. I'm at negative 13, technically. Yeah, because you, because <laughs> you owe 10. Dead. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. I, yeah, I understand that. I feel you. I get it. Hey, uh, what you, uh, you got a lead over there for? Said you had to go somewhere. Yeah. I'll be. I'll be back. Okay. Uh, Just, uh, uh, you want to meet back at the office? Sounds good to me. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, so, uh, as you all split, uh, we are going to go ahead and take our second break uh, for the day. Uh, we will be back in five minutes, everyone, at five minutes after the 30, five minutes after the half. We'll be of, back in know. five minutes. We'll be back in five minutes, everyone. Go refresh. It's 30 now. It's fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll be back. Bye. <laughs>
excuse me. Hello. <laughs> Right here on Prayers in the Static FM. Uh, if Naja has someplace else to go, I will follow. Yeah, I wonder if it makes sense to head down to see Care, see if there are anyone else contracted with Babel who's missing. Yeah, love it. I mean, I figured just go straight down to the facility, but. Uh, are you thinking of Care Bears? Because I'm thinking of Care Bears right now. I think there's a location in Care Bear. Like, I think the primary setting of Care Bears is Care a lot. Care a lot with like a little medieval theme or something. Thank God, the literal lot where they do all oh, of their no, arm it's replacement. Just a lot. Yeah. Love it. Okay.
Does yeah. You gonna pay for anything else? I was gonna say, Dove, you're uh, in a yeah, you're gonna right. pay for anything else. Hey, 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 I'm not made of money yet. No one's there uh, to spot you. Spot you. How much? You're not gonna charge me to take the inner elevator. Like, it's just time, right? Okay. We'll take the inner elevators, I think. I, I assume the sun is still out, so I don't want to do the trunk climber. I don't know if enough time has passed for it to be sunset yet. Are these like support of me or, you know, these are just against. Okay. You see signs, yeah. You see signs like just simply like find them and how many have gone missing. And then uh -huh. you see some a really good one, and it's like seems justice is just us. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, like, have you been muted this whole time? Uh, yeah, for this part, yes. Uh, <laughs> just, no! um, just for this part. I oh, thought I unmuted myself. Yeah, just for this part. So we only okay. are really just getting into it. So thank oh, you, Pizza Yare. Okay. So maybe, maybe one that says like Alamo Forgotten. Yeah. Ooh, Alamo Forgotten. Uh, who will remember us? Uh, mm. that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, and like protesting the the down cycling or like trickle down cycling never trickles down. Like it's that kind of thing of like the city calls it all these things like oh yeah. we're it's called trickle use. it's tr yeah it's trickle up uh trickle up. oh right of course trickle up yeah 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 and it's and it's like uh it's like what comes up never like what comes up is gonna come back down stuff like that um Ooh. and so you're seeing like a lot of these protesters moving in and out you've been seeing them like for a while now but now that you know the election is actually within a month now things are starting to really uh hit that uh hit that pitch um and so with that the two of you make your way eventually out of this elevator once you get to floor 605 um 
and you head on over to Carolot, which is this not quite like an open like what should be like a strip market, you know, or uh or a strip mall. Uh it's just kind of been not abandoned because care is here. Um, but whatever kind of, uh, what, a, whatever kind of businesses or whatever had previously set them up, uh, had been set up here, have long since been abandoned, uh, but not having the actual money to like rent out the space on the inside, um, care has gotten and pays, uh, to, uh, essentially have a permit to set up a, an outside stand, um, where uh, they take up the entirety of this lot uh, with a bunch of different tents and such where people can come and receive uh, very cheap to, depending on their mood, free uh, health care and, uh, and, and, and cyber care. Um, I think you all... Uh, it's not necessarily like... Actually, I think it probably is a bit it has become a bit busier as of late because people are out at the protest doing stuff that I think, you know, someone's been around handing out cards, being like, Hey, you need some help, help go here. You need some help go here. There's a lot of been people funneling people to care. Care is a bit overworked at the moment, uh, where they do have assistance and like, they do have like fours family who does like help work with them, but they're getting a lot more people as it's getting to around. It's like getting like late summer ish at this point, uh, which is around the time where, um, the innovation cycle of Alamo city starts like, Oh, they start, like they start putting stuff out around, like it's getting closer to the last quarter. Everybody's trying to get their last bit out of like, okay, yeah, we've been holding on to this, which means more gear is starting to get upcycled now. Um, and so it's getting to that weird timing where for some reason people's cyberware and prosthetics start, failing and like start like glitching and like having issues around this time of year um and so uh you're getting to this place and like the tents are like have like three or four people all in patient beds like all having uh their uh their status is monitored uh or their bios monitored uh, just all coming here to get some sort of help if they can find any. And I, and I think you find um, care in one of these tents kind uh, on their break. It's like the personal tent for uh, for them and staff. And they've got a uh, they've got a canned uh, <laughs> they've got a canned like water that is like uh, it's a can that auto cools itself um it's so expensive it is so expensive to get this one and also it's just like the can of water like once it once the water's gone the like it shuts down it does not do it you can't refill it it doesn't it doesn't it's non-refillable it's like it's one and done nice oh god the can like closes as you drink it <laughs> it crumples <laughs> it, it crumples after. <laughs> yeah 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 it's just like a beer can. Yeah, it's probably not even a metal can. It's probably like a mesh, like plastic can, so that it is a collapsible thing and like has like a coolant uh, that has like a nice, like fun, uh, cool. sparkly color around it. But as you drink it, it does slowly like decompress and shrink, and it does not. It doesn't. It doesn't do it. <laughs> it doesn't go back the other way. Mm. Uh, but yeah, you you all find Karen here. care doing doing all right oh uh, uh, yeah i guess <laughs> it's just like it has like wet like towel like around neck to like try to like cool them off it's been like long day a lot of work days would be shorter if you just charged a little more Ugh. Days would be shorter because no one would come. <laughs> now, what can I do the pleasure of seeing some of my favorite folk? Hey there, Care. Uh, good to see you. 
you know, still don't got no cyberware, so, you know, none from me today. I mean, you know, I got the basics, but, you know, all internal, all that jazz, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to be one of your patients. All right. I, I'm not here for that either. Uh, we got contacted by uh, Aaron, Aaron Manali? Yeah, uh, Manali kid. Oh, he made it. Thank God he made it to y'all. Uh, terrible thing. Uh, his his mom, uh, Carmina, great woman, wonderful woman, smart mind, sharp. Uh, came to me uh, just yesterday. He said, uh, you know, that's when he uh, couldn't find you. And, uh, Did we him. both think that? that yeah, he right. I, I thought he meant like, Carmina. I thought they like, meant Carmina for a second. I was like, damn. Me too. Wait, hold on. <laughs> no, sorry, like, sorry. Like, like, you get no, 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 sorry. Yeah, to he was talking. He was talking about Aaron. Um, yeah. Came to me yesterday saying he couldn't find her. And I mean, last I heard, she was supposed to be all the way up in Asimov Station by now. But I guess <clears throat> that didn't happen. You got a lot of folks down here who've gone missing. I mean. Workers? No, but a few patients gone missing. Uh, supposed to do their intermittent checkups on, you know, post-surgery, you know, make sure everything's healing all right, make sure they're taking their meds, but uh, it's not a lot, one or two uh, missing, but that ain't, that ain't so unusual nowadays, sadly. And like missing like they just ain't coming back to the to the clinic or missing like you can't find heads or tails of them I mean bit of both and you know I, I know there's all this talk of kidnapping but at this point it's hard to tell who's getting kidnapped and well whose bodies are just failing on them so uh, it's hard to say yeah any patterns and anything anything sticking out to you? Uh, patterns? Uh, you know, like maybe everyone who's gone missing had uh, I don't know, same same prosthetic, same size surge on, you know, any anything. Uh, I I mean maybe I I haven't really done I Look, I'm I'm not one of you all. I, I I didn't I didn't see things start happening immediately. Start looking into the details, you know. I, sometimes people just go missing. Uh, nothing you can do about it. Uh, you got right. There might be a pattern. Look. Yeah, I can. Um, Admit anything hold on. That you don't want to reveal, but you know, just name, oh. sizer, or something like that. I mean, uh, Doctor Patient confidentiality here uh, I mean not the HIPAA now <laughs> I just look I want to help you but I honestly don't even know if these people are missing missing they could be lowercase missing you know oh hey uh you notice that maybe these folks worked at the same place any kind of any kind of commonality just like hey we all work for Megacore number one, and we all got the same shit. You know, so anything. Broad strokes. Look, um, and uh, they like pull up their pad and they start going through the damn thing, and they're like, uh, mm. "Give us that data." And as they kind of go through, well, I mean, like I said, a lot of the people that came through were, uh, or a lot of the people that, you know, gone missing or 
had recent surgeries on, uh, you know, for cyberware updates, uh, you know, fixing parts, doing routine maintenance, that kind of thing. Um, I mean, usual work, it's, uh, I'd say, uh, I mean, I don't have hard numbers here on last times I've had any kind of correspondence with them, but I'd say it looks like I stopped hearing from most of them uh, around their um, second checkup uh, time period. So, okay. all of them for one check recent work. Seems, yeah. That seems unusual. Usually, folks who don't come in for checkups, they don't come in for the first one. Yeah. What about right. Carmina? Did she have any recent cyberware? I mean, not recent cyberware she you know she had work done on her uh, but i don't think recent or at least nothing she told me no work she got done here mm. huh. yeah it's a terrible business these folks going missing i honestly i don't know make heads or tails out of it it's just it's, it's, it's weird it's unfortunate Yeah, I just, I know. Um, I'm going to be honest, especially with Carmina gone, we're, we're running a little low on hands around here. Things aren't getting better. You got to be more specific here. Well, you, no, are, you, are, are you running look, low? Are you running low on cybernetic hands, or are you running I low mean, on help? I mean, because. It could be there's both, all, but I'm just trying to clarify. There's always a hand deficit, but we're also losing hand yeah. deficit. I, both of them. All right. Look around. Look around. And, like, kind of, like, points and, like, looks. On the best of days, these tents maybe got one or two people on them each. I'm just doing routine checkups. But now I got half the damn block up here. All right? Hey, Shit's hey. not getting better around here. And... No, you no, know, this... it's getting worse. It's getting shitty. I, I understand yeah. that. I'm not trying to come into your place of business and, like, you know, fuck up your shit, fuck up your flow. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm asking questions, you know? You know, I know. I, I know. I'm just, with this... I'm hoping this helping care, helping hand initiative, assuming it even goes through... Appropriate you know, name. If, well, you know, Songi, he's... he's great at Brandon. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Yeah, helping hand is it's a nice touch. And you know It's a good I, name. Whoever did that saucer on on the neck to make it look kind of like obvious that it was done. That's 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 a that takes a masterful hand. It's good optics. It's good optics. It won't amount to much, but at least yeah. uh at least we're back to pretending, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Well. And uh, they, like, kind of uh, get up uh, from it, like, chug the rest of... Uh... You know what this is called? You know what this water is called? What's it called? It's called Cool Aid. But, like, C-O-O-L. Actually, no, it's C-U so umlaut. That is the brand. You can't do this. You did, can't do the K-O-O-L. It's the brand. That is yeah, the no, brand. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. I know, I know. It's C-U umlaut L dash yeah. oh, no. uh, <laughs> A-Y-D. Oh, no. This is a Kool-Aid chiller. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, exactly. I'm just going to go ahead and add Kool-Aid to master list. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Don't know how to type uh, an email, but we'll get to that later. Yeah, we can figure that out later. Um, but yeah, you get the, yeah, and they, you know, finish up the Kool-Aid and uh, take the towel, wipe off some sweat and says, I need to get back out there. Uh, I don't know, if you need anything else, just, you know where to find me or talk to one of the staff and they just kind of walk past you and out to do the work that needs to be done. 
Keep telling them. Oh, no, sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Please go. No, no, no. Please do. Please go. I was just going to say, like, I think as we fade out on this scene, we have Naja turn to Dove and just like, I keep telling them it doesn't matter if they get fewer clients. If they charge more, they'll end up making more money. (laughs) I don't know. I feel. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's just we close on that. Just that (laughs) that desperate plea for Carebark to value their time. (laughs) <laughs> but also complete misunderstanding of their goals. Yeah, it's, yeah. 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 this yeah. is definitely just Naja being like, "You could make more money." Yeah, I, I <laughs> Don't think you like more all, money. <laughs> I think all Dove says is, ah, "I don't, I don't know about that." <laughs> and we fade away on over to four. Uh, you are just uh, getting to uh, where your sibling is pocket uh they are down on uh, i i want to say that they're down on uh what are they they're not dish sector there we go uh they're down in sector two probably somewhere in like the early twos like 203 202 excuse me um and they the lower floors unlike the upper trunk is a lot more open, a lot less congested. It is closer to the heat heat sinks, so it is like hotter down here, but Mm -hmm. it doesn't have the same kind of congestion that the rest of the trunks do, so it feels less hot just because everything isn't so tightly packed together. Um, This is also like not where a lot of uh, there's not a lot of, like, residential space in here. It's a lot of, um, like, it, it, this is where, this is essentially, like, where the businesses are. This is the business district uh, for some of the higher-end stuff. Uh, not just the stuff that gets thrown uh, into Rust Market Square. This is the stuff that, like, actually gets imported from the roots into proper stores that kind of resemble what it would be like to live down in the roots um it's almost kind of got like this open mall kind of feel to it um and you find a pocket uh they're they're at a nail salon here um it's (sighs) what's the name of this nail salon what are some nail salon uh shop names galaxy star like straight up i got my nails done at a place just called star nails the other day okay okay good good to know good to know good to know um lone star nails Nails? lone star lone star nails is good lone star nails is good Lone Star Nails is good. Uh, and like So the... many things in this goddamn city have to be named Lone Star. There's got to be a Lone Star everything. It's Lone Star, Longhorn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's yeah, all yeah. annoying Texas culture. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, it's <laughs> it's, Lone, it's Lone Star Nails. Um, and, like, the logo is, like, just, like, a hand, uh, like, back to, uh, back to viewer. Uh, you can see all the nails. And, like, the nails have like this gradient of color that is constantly shifting and like a uh, rainbow-esque color palette. Um, And on the ring ring, there's like an actual like star decal to fit with the Lone Star theme. Yes. Shimmering around the star. That's probably, it's perfect. I love it. Absolutely. (laughs) Uh, And uh, you go in and it's just like a nice little like open air salon. It's air conditioned in here. It's kind of got this, uh, it's kind of got like this coastal like beach theme. It's like a sea foam greens, pinks, whites, like light blues uh, kind of deal. And like tables like lined up flanking the middle aisle of, um, uh, Hmm, what? A bu- they're kind of beauticians. Uh, they're uh, beauticians more hair, though. Uh, technicians? Nail tech- yeah, nail technician. Nail there tech. we go. That's yeah. the term. There we go. Yeah, of nail technicians, like, helping, uh, like, you know, several people who've come down to, like, their one day a week that they get free, that they mm-hmm. come down here and, like, like okay, yeah, I'm going to freshen up. Um, 
And uh, you know that Pockets in the private, like, spa area room where, like, they're getting the whole nine yards done. Um, you, uh, you walk onto the back and there is a private room, uh, there where it's kind of, like, darkened, uh, UV lighting. Uh, Mm -hmm. they're, like, sitting in, like, a huge massage chair, feet soaking in, Mm -hmm. like, a, a bath of water that has, uh, the little uh that has like the little fish that eat dead skin you know mm-hmm. that's like floating in there and like are relaxing cucumbers uh on eyes face mask uh very much just lounging here when you uh when you arrive man if grandma could see you now if grandma could see me now She'd be jealous as fuck. Sure, we'll go with that. (laughs) What do you want for... I need a favor. Uh Huh. Want to give me more details than just favor? Can you hear me with uh, the relaxing coastal waves playing in the background? (laughs) You're coming over just a little bit over like the higher frequencies, but I can hear enough. Good to know. You hear about these missing persons recently? Yeah, you remember... uh, the Manalis. The Manalis? No. You don't remember Carmina? Used to work with dad and mom? <sighs> Carmina, 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 Manali. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Cyber tech lady. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. started yeah, with yeah. that. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would have been way better. Uh, sorry, so many names up here. I gotta remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, Manali, Carmina. Yeah, for sure. She's cyber, cyber technician. Uh, oh, going to Babel, right? Yeah, she was supposed to. I think she was exegrating. In. Should be up there now. I knew that brain had some information in it. Look, all right, I keep tabs on people heading up and people coming down, all right? It's good to know who's in the area. Good business. I get it. She never made it up there. Oh. Well, that's a shame. I'm going to remove one of your cucumbers. (laughs) I would ask that you don't. Oh, that's that's such a that's such a shit. Already taking it off. Such a, <laughs> yeah, such a damn shame. I oh, is closed. The photo. <laughs> yeah, I was like getting the photo out of Carmina. Open your damn eye. She yeah pops an eye open. <laughs> See, it's the photo yeah, of her, her getting swept in basically into the taxi that's like about oh, to like okay. steal her away. Picture. Yeah. Okay, so she got in a taxi. Did you check with the taxi company? I'm working on that. But I thought maybe, I don't know, a smart person with a lot of connections might have more information. You hear so much with those big ears of yours. Uh, give me a coax roll here as you are trying to get some information out of your sibling. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I got a six and a four. <laughs> Ooh, that definitely beats uh, their... Hold on, let me check their coax really quick. 
I'm pretty sure you beat it. Yeah, you got a six. Of course you beat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, so You're you... me sibling. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, what is the adjective that you are tagging them with right now? Or her with? Hmm. There and is it can a... be from any of our adjectives. It doesn't have to be from my adjectives, correct? Correct. Yeah, it can be any adjective. If you actually look on the Tech Noir book under the verbs, each of them have um, some potential options of things that you could use here. Um, I could definitely see... Uh, <laughs> I could definitely see convinced or... Um, Let's see something that because you're you're trying to make it so that she like is more willing to help you. So uh, amenable uh, would also be a oh, good attentive. one. Yeah. Attentive, maybe, just, maybe be... somewhat eager because like when has four really ever needed pockets help like this? And it's like I'm gonna take advantage of this, so I'm mm. eager to help you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Awesome. awesome. Uh, so you are tagging her with eager. Cool. And this is not sticky, correct? This is no. fleeting. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, so she, uh, you say that to her and she goes, fine. I can help. But it's going to cost you. When doesn't it? Fair enough. Not necessarily now, but uh soon i have some business that might go could go good could go bad but in the case that it does go good i might need your services as far as smoothing over some of the details you have ends with the rainmakers right pretty much Perfect. great i'll just need you to set me a date that's it not now. Later. A date, huh? I need to... Grease some wheels. Oh, so this isn't the fun date. I mean, it could be. Were you hoping that I was going to... Go out with one of your hacker friends? No. Just wanted to tease you a little bit. Places the cucumber back. <laughs> Fuck his eye. <laughs> Open eye, like, fucking with her. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yep. <laughs> Fine. There is... There have been whispers going around, obviously. People have been talking about all these kidnappings. It's very, very big, especially with the election coming up. It doesn't look good for Ryan that people are going missing and no one's really doing that much about it, especially because most of the people who are going missing, well, the people left behind can't quite afford ICSAC. So uh, a lot of them are just going unsolved or rather unlooked at at all. No one's really doing much about it. There's some people thinking, or, well, a word going around that servants of freedom are starting to use this as a wiggle room to try to maybe ease their way in. Except contracts up at the end of the year, and, well, if people aren't happy with them, then... Maybe the Servants of Freedom might be uh, the new law around here. Not that they don't think they already are, but... Mm-hmm. Mm. You haven't heard anything perplexing about Babel recently? About Babel? No. Nothing other than the usual... Uh, they're working on new technologies as, as always. It sounds like they're trying to get into, uh, robotics recently. Uh, could be why they were bringing old girl up there, you know, work on some new 
biomechanical body for whatever the fuck it is that they're trying to build up there, but, um, no, nothing unusual. I actually... No? I heard that they, within the past, like, couple of months or so, uh, they actually got a contract with Icarus... Uh, over supplying some possible Militech, possible management AI. I, I don't really know what the whole deal is. I don't know specifics, but uh, Babel's got some kind of hand in XX pocket, at least for right now. Hmm. That is interesting. Well... You'll let me know if you find anything else out. Maybe. You should. Mm, we'll see. You should. Is there anything else I can do for you, my dearest sibling? Oh no, my dearest Patch. You just do me a favor. Uh, enjoy your little spa day. And I hope you get every piece of dead skin on those feet of yours. It would be such a shame if you didn't get your creds worth. Oh, wait, that's right. Today's the free day. Mm. Have fun. Love you. Love you, too. As you, and as you walk off, bitch. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> they think about it at the same time. They're like, bitch. It's very insane, yeah. but they don't think it's in sync. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so good. I love um, them. I love them so much. Uh, all right, Can and you. you <laughs> uh, and you uh, head on off. Um, do uh, the two of you, did you have anything else you wanted to do at um, Carolot, or were you just heading back to meet up with four at the agency? I just heading back, I think. Yeah. Okay. I think funnily enough, since Care did message and was like, you should talk to me later. I don't know. How long do you think that conversation, those two conversations took? Um... Well, it would have taken you, like, an hour or two longer to get down to, uh, to get down to where Pocket was in the first mm -hmm. place, and then, like, going back up the extra, like, hour or two to get there. You, you wouldn't be coinciding with them being there, unless they just stuck around there for a, a couple of hours. Um, but you can still go see Care if you would like to. They probably will. Since that didn't take too long. Okay. Might as well get all my business done now. <laughs> then come back to you guys. Yeah, no, fair. <laughs> awesome. So did the two of you have anything else or just going straight back to the agency? Just head back. Okay, cool. Uh, so we follow four, then going back up to uh, Carolot. It's later in the day. Um, uh, I think protesting is still going high there aren't as many people at care a lot now uh, especially because it's getting around towards the time that care would close um but other than that uh yeah you i think you find care like just finishing up with a patient uh doing a check over uh it's this uh older woman uh she's got um you can tell she has a uh, she has a knee implant uh, that is uh, kind of built into the leg, wrapping uh, around uh, uh, around like the inner uh, back part of the knee, connecting the two what are real uh, leg pieces appendages. I don't want to call limbs? legs pieces limbs. limbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest of the leg. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, you can see that they were just uh, tuning it up and she's like getting up testing it. She's like, oh, thank you, Care. Oh, it's so good. Uh, and like, is like starts doing the thing where, you know, she's trying to figure out how to pay and then Care. You can, 
you enter or arrive around the period of time in which care starts to like is about to be like you don't have you know, don't worry about it um mm-hmm. but yeah you enter during this awkward phase where she's about to start talking about payment yo miss gracie how have you been oh for you i'm doing fine i'm doing fine doll just uh getting the old old me looked at uh, just it's doing it's fine good. doing fine yeah well thanks to care of course and care you know does like a it was nothing you know just take care of it don't put so much try not to put so much weight on it if you need a cane use it it'll Help you me. have to take it easy, Miss Gracie. Help it last you work me. way too hard out here. And she got, like very gently takes Miss Gracie's arm as if to help lead her out, as if maybe Care and Four have done this sort of dance before, where it's like you don't have to pay. Get this person out of here so they don't pay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> go, go, go. absolutely. Uh, and uh, yeah, you kind of help her out. Uh, um, and like walk her over to like the area, like the pick up like there are a lot of taxis that stay around this area because mm-hmm. this is where people kind of come and like they're like oh yeah we can make easy money people are going to need rides out of here a lot of these people are getting out of surgery like this is easy money so you take them over to uh essentially where this kind of pickup area is so that mm-hmm. she can get a taxi and head back up to her block the taxi comes and like four helps her get in and then like leans in the window towards the driver it chart it takes five for her to get where she needs to go. Right? You are looking in the eyes of uh it's this younger driver, uh mm-hmm. real skinny, uh mm-hmm. sunburned despite having like not being in the sun right just like the heat has like burned their skin just like being so Mm -hmm. in this hot car this sadly is not one of the taxis that has air conditioning um Mm -hmm. and uh has like i'm imagining like a newsies cap uh and and, uh kind of looks and uh is so easily intimidated by you and it just goes, yep, five, five, five creds, five creds will do, five creds will do. Uh, I, I don't know. That's a good lad. Uh, <laughs> It'd be a shame if she was overcharged, wouldn't it? Yeah. Such a shame. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Drive safe. Cartoonish Have a good gold. Have Gracie. Take care. Uh, thank you for you so. So nice. Uh, and uh, the taxi drives off with uh, perhaps a wetter pants uh, than uh, he had previously had before. If he looks in the mirror to see if four staring at him, they are. Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Goes uh, back inside to poor care. He's <laughs> overworked. Yeah, Care, you see, like, you come back in, like, Care has hands and head kneeled over the, uh, the, uh, the, the table, the, the thing that you put patients on. Not an operating table, but, like. Gurney? No, like, the one that's just, like, in a doctor's office, you know, that you sit on. like, the hospital bed. Just the exam table. Yeah, yeah, exam exam table, thank you. Uh, sitting, uh. Yeah, thank you. I'm so bad with words. Uh, putting, uh, yeah, hands, uh, head and hands, elbows on uh, the examination table. Just like taking a breather right now when you come back in. Thanks for that. Four just kind of starts cleaning up the area. Like kind of falls back into that routine that they always do. Yeah. It's fine. You want to take a moment for around. yourself? Nah, always work to be done. Still got a few more people to check up on. Mark. Before the day is done. What? If you don't take five minutes for yourself, everyone else is going to need an extra five minutes. Just goes back to cleaning. <laughs> If 
fine. And we'll kind of sit back in the chair and, like, kind of watch you as you're, like, doing the cleanup. Your friends came in earlier. Heard, uh, Aaron got in touch with y'all. He did not look good. Who would? How long has Carmina been working with you again? Not working with me, just... I've known her for, hell, 16, 17 years now. She's a good woman. I, uh, I hope there's nothing, I hope, I don't, how's it looking? You want the good news or the bad news? Don't lie to me, just tell it to me straight. How is it looking? Looking like she might have gotten kidnapped. No shit. Looks like... Right before she was going to get up to the skyport, something must have gone down. And they pull out their data pad, and they scroll to the same photo they showed Pocket. I don't know if she got herself into some trouble... Obviously she did, but I'm keeping tabs on the one person I know who knows practically everything about the city. And if she doesn't know now, she tends to get the info some way. And we're going to check in the taxis and we've already filed a report, but you know how long those effing reports take. So. Fucking ex sec. Fucking ex sec. Look, I, I just hope she's okay. God, what it's gonna do to that boy? I don't know. Seems like we have fifteen days to uh save him for a con from a contract that he technically didn't sign. They say that um, if she doesn't show up for work, then then he has to pay for her contract fees. What? Yeah, you know, rich people bullshit. Fucking corpos, man. They will suck the life out of you. And your kids, apparently. <sighs> Did nothing seem weird? When was the last time you got to talk to her? I saw her the day before she left. Yeah? She seemed fine. Nothing weird, nothing unnatural about it. She was an anxious woman about to move, you know? Everybody everybody in that will hell. Everybody on Earth dreams of maybe getting up there once, and she was about to do it. Finally leave this fucking place behind. I had a dream like that once. It didn't go the way everyone dreams it to go. I guess that's why they call them dreams. We're going to do our best, Kay. I promise. I know you will. Thank you. And I if you it. hear anything, you have my number. I know. Thank you. Hey. You were there for my parents when they needed you the most, and I can only offer the same to you. Mm-hmm. You're. I guess you're kind of like family. Don't tell anyone. Oh, of course. Uh, not a soul. 
you see a smile on their face kind of break across for the first time. It's a very uh, soft smile on her face. Okay. Um, and yeah. I think, you know, you clean up here for a little while and eventually mm -hmm. two of you say your goodbyes and... Mm -hmm. As you leave, um, I think you notice something. I, I think something about four. Four or four is a very secretive person. Very, you know, to themselves has and I like has a mask on and everything to keep anonymity and all that kind of stuff. So I think you are generally pretty alert um, about. Mm -hmm you know, what's going on around you. Um, mm -hmm. Can I get a mm -hmm. detect roll from you? Of really course quick? you can. Ooh, I have three for that. Awesome. Heck yeah. Ooh. A, f a two, a four, and a five. Okay, awesome. Um you notice out of the corner of your eye as you're coming out of um care's tent um you you like you see like uh a person it's a figure like for like just like a brief moment that was kind of paused outside of one of the other tents um, looking in the direction of you in Care's tent. And as soon as, like, you get that, like, that kind of chill on the back of your neck, like, you get that feeling where you're being watched, and you turn to look, and as soon as you, like, turn in that direction and, like, kind of see, you see them move into the tent. Uh, you don't, you aren't able to get, like, a glimpse of their face, but it was quite, like, by the way that they were moving, you could tell that they were standing still and then started moving at the moment that you started to turn to look. Four pauses watching, at that. Yeah, four pauses Or not necessarily that. watching you, watch, like, keeping an eye on that area. Four will pause wait like five seconds and start walking towards that tent okay uh you walk towards that tent and you get yeah you you get to the tent and as you like kind of peer into it you see um there is a uh there's like this mid-20 uh looking uh person with like uh brief content warning for uh a description of surgery um uh specifically uh open chest surgery um, you see there's someone lying on an operating table, chest cavity kind of open. You see that there are like medical equipment here or there. Um, and, uh, there's someone like has like, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? B -b -b -bum. Uh, the mm -hmm -hmm. anesthetic, uh, and like, yeah, anesthetic, like mask, like around, like breathing in that kind of, uh, fear knocking them out. Uh, and... There are, like, three, two people, like, standing over, like, kind of operating, working on some cyberware. Uh, it looks like a pair of, like, cyber lungs uh, that are in here just doing some kind of operation on them. Uh, and you see that there's another person, definitely the person that just walked in here before mm -hmm. you did. Uh, younger looking person, uh, maybe, like, m mid, late teens. Um shorter stockier um kind of a uh, reddish brown skin uh real curly like fro looking um wearing like the wearing the volunteer garb uh of uh care a lot which i'm imagining is like plain white has a smock and there's like a big heart uh uh like around the chest area and um they're like carrying like a tray of stuff 
of like uh just like equipment and tools and stuff uh for this um and you come in and like one of like the two like people operating turn to look at you as you come in and go what Please continue. I'm not here. And they just kind of look at each other. And then, like, look at, like, the, the the assistant who's just come in, who's, like... You can hear the rattling of the tray and, like, all of the different stuff on it. As like, Slowly oh, moving over to help balance this poor man's tray. <laughs> Thank it you. seems like you need a hand. Yeah. And this person needs help. Let's focus. Yeah. Uh, and they go on about the operation. Do you just stay there for the for the duration of it? <laughs> Why did you stop and look at me? Yeah, I do. I do okay. stay. <laughs> Awesome. What do cool. you want, kid? <laughs> awesome. So while you stay for the duration of this, we're going to cut back on over to uh, uh, Unison and uh, Nausea. Uh, the two of you are back in the agency, kind of just like waiting around for for, for to come back. Um, and while the like or th is there anything the two of you are doing while you're just awaiting i don't think so i think i'm just twid twiddling my thumbs okay maybe just watching the timer on the uh the request i was gonna say i ask every five minutes like what's the timer at i've got the timer like i've got literally my whole data pad turned towards Nacha. And every time Naja asks, I just point. It just doesn't at it, even like, matter. It just doesn't even matter. <laughs> like it's right there in front of Naja's face. And hey, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. Um, and while the two of you are just there, like doing this kind of thing, it ticks down to zero, and you get the little boop do quest a uh, request completed on it, and you get like a set of like video files. As well as, uh, um, a, like, you get, like, uh, a set of video files, which are the camera footage of CCTVs that tracked, uh, her and, uh, the taxi, um, up until, like, getting into, like, points where it's out of their, you know, jurisdiction, um, and also, uh, you get, like, map a, like a file of the map showing you a time lapse of like where they were going and like you know over a period of time uh to uh as like a to go along with uh the video footage uh and then so like you get like essentially like a dropbox link uh essentially mm. uh to go click on it and then like there's a text file in there that when you open and says it just gives you like data like okay like name of per it's a receipt essentially um which also has an option for you to go to a link to tip uh if you would like and i imagine uh, yeah probably not i i i do want to watch the videos but yeah, for sure. Um, you watch the video. I guess just and... look for the point where uh, Carmina, the last point where I can see Carmina. Absolutely. Um, you, the two of you sit and watch through the footage. You watch as she gets into the vehicle. And you're seeing it from all of these different angles, high and low, close, just all over wherever the CCTVs are, are wired. Um, not just on like this floor, but on all of the floors. Um and you, like, essentially get this step-by-step -step process of, like, just watching her get into the taxi. Take the taxi into uh, onto the freeway elevators, taking those elevators up. And you watch on the map and on, on the videos as she goes all the way to Skyport. And she gets out. And upon her entering Skyport, that is the end of the footage. Uh, because past their... That's that's Skyport territory. That's a business. That that's private stuff. Um, 
Hmm. But you have video, but you have both video and um, geometric. Is that correct? I don't think that's right. Uh, uh, no, maybe uh, just location data. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get location data essentially of um, yeah. that she did in fact make it to. Okay, so she made it there. Skyport. Uh, so either between I didn't see her take out a phone so she didn't just send the message there so if if someone else were to have absconded with her phone oh actually let me ask you this yeah. does the location data for I assume it's for her phone does it break off at any point or does like up until the last moment that we can track it, does it remain where she is? <laughs> I think you're going to need a hack rule for this. Uh, I'll take my one hack. It's okay. Yeah, that's, that's what you want, right? You want me to use yeah, my yeah, one yeah. hack roll? My yeah, one yeah, hack yeah. die? It's no, okay, go for buddy. it. I'll be home soon. <laughs> I mean, it's a four. That's pretty good. Okay. I think on a four, you go into, you uh, crack into, like, the data to find, like, you're essentially, like, breaking it down by, like, seconds at this point to be able to, like, track the data, make sure that there's no glitch or anything, nothing that feels off or weird. And you notice that, and it's real weird, because despite the fact that sky uh the sky port is not within you know um exact jurisdiction so they can't get camera footage that does not they can still track phone data from that point and so post the camera footage you go in to check the like the geometric location of the actual phone itself and you are able to track it into Skyport, kind of going through it, and then there's a point where it just disappears. Um, and it's around you. Uh, I think with this, you're able to pull up like a blueprint as well of just of uh, uh, like publicly accessible uh, blueprint of like Alamo Skyport and like trying to figure out where it is. It's right around security that dips. And I think with that, okay. sorry, go for it. No, I'm just going to say, huh, that ain't right. And I think with that, uh, we are going to end this session. Whoo! We did it! We did it! We did it, lads! We First did session. it! We, we did, did it, it, lads! Yeah, made it through all right. the technical difficulties and everything. All right. Did he did. Yay. Yes. That was so much fun. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. Um awesome. Well, thank you all so much for sticking along with us. I know we had a late start because of some server difficulties apparently. Uh, uh storms will do that. Uh <laughs> um but you know, we made it. We were able to do it and we we fucking we got through this first one. So I'm super excited for that. Please do not forget to join us again. Uh, not next Friday, but the Friday after that, November 18th, uh, same time, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We will be back again with the same gaggle of ghouls? You know, same... That's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's I like November, animal. but I think you can still... Yeah, I think ghoul is still it. fine. It's just... It's uh, like what's seasonal. like... Spirits are fall uh, related. It's fine. And We're best, uh, fall. Oh, I got one. I got one. You with my uh, here with my inquisitive investigators, uh, Love trying the alliteration, right? Yeah. Trying to solve the mystery of the missing person here in Alamo City. The uh, missing mama. The missing mama. Uh, all right, gang. Let's uh, let's do uh, let's let's do some housekeeping. Uh, we're gonna go in reverse mm -hmm. order. So if Alyssa. Tell people where they can find you on the internet and all the cool shit you're a part of. 
<laughs> uh yeah you can find me generally on twitter at a disaster queer for now uh next saturday november 12th you can find me in dragon riders of ama on dexar 19's channel on twitch which is shockingly a quest campaign where we pay, play post post-apocalyptic dragon riders uh you can also find me on the podcast goblets and gaze we're finishing up a mini campaign in the alien rpg and after that we will be back with our final season of our pathfinder 2e campaign and that is me Hey, Ooh. very, very nice. Sin, what cool shit are you a part of? Okay. Hi, my name is Sin with the Sea Light Cinnamon. It's very nice to meet you. You can find me at Buns Bakery 2 ns one z on Twitter, on YouTube, on Twitch. The YouTube is at Buns Bakery because that's how YouTube's doing their cool new handles now. Um, oh. You can find me every other Wednesday so two wednesdays from now on the altered echo archives twitch where i play sima molten glass my fun monk from in the campaign called into the fog which is a slightly homebrewed version of curse of strahd where strahd has already won and found his true love and what will we do about it come find out Ooh. That's it. Ooh, spicy. I like that. <laughs> All right, Ibrahim, what you got? Hello, it's me. I'm Ibrahim. You can find me everywhere on the internet that matters at cosmic underscore Eve. You can find me here in two weeks when we're com uh, f continuing the story of Tech Noir. You can also find me uh, next Thursday where I will be playing Disco Elysium with. Uh, the amazing Josephine's Gary Dog Friend and uh 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 shit. Jalen what's Jalen's last name handle? Postmodern Black? Postmodern Black. If you Thank scroll down you. here, it's definitely in here because they've Jaylen got everything laid out so Black. pretty. The format's great down here in the Twitch. Look at it. Just look at Joe it. Oh, it's a gorgeous such, page. Joe Just, did amazing yes. work. So pretty. So pretty, so nice. Well, um, you can also pretty. find me on the podcast. Uh, 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 what is the name of our podcast? Delightful Dungeon Diving episodes coming out every Tuesday. Talking about all things TTRPG. Um, it has been such a pleasure to be with you here tonight. Thank you so, so much. Yes, thank you so much. This was so yes. much fun. Last but not so least, glad. passing it over to the lovely, the one. The only oh Kendo. Oh my God. No. Thank you all for the hype. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I have been your game master or facilitator for the day. My name is Kendo. You can find me everywhere on the internet at Kendo Makes Films. You can find my actual play podcast, Tales Yet Told, on Twitter and Instagram at Tales Yet Told. Maybe eventually you can find us on Tumblr. I'm not sure, but you can listen to us everywhere. Uh, you get your podcast. Uh, it's it's tales yet told. Uh, it's it's the same thing. It's it's not different. But if you're looking more specifically for the game we're playing now, that's Whispers in the Sea. It comes out every other Wednesday, uh, which might be this upcoming Wednesday. It really depends on if I can finish writing some stuff and recording a thing. Uh, even if you can't, it, we appreciate you for your work. Yeah, even if I can't, there's still. A whole lot of podcasts to go listen to. There's a whole first season. There's 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 one shots. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can, and then you can listen to the other the second season. You can listen up the the, five, the four episodes that we got already while you wait Do for the that. next episode to come out. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's won awards. It's it's won awards. Oh, yeah. see those awards? Mm -hmm. See those awards back there? Three of see them those? are for the podcast. One of them is for this. See that? It's amazing. It's like to hear. Exactly. And so you can find that, of course, at Tales Yet Told. You can find more information about Prayers in the Static, also at Tales Yet Told. Uh, but you can find me tomorrow at uh, for uh, Why Your World Matters uh, with Double DM Pod and Sage Steam and Chill Touch RPG over at twitch.tv forward slash Steam Sage 1 uh, at uh, Tia... 10 p.m. GMT, which I don't know what that is for most people. Uh, hey, 10 p.m. GMT, I believe that's going to be 
4 in the afternoon? Yes. Uh, yes. Central? Yes, you're correct. It is 4 p.m. Central Time, 5 p.m. Eastern, what, uh, 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific if you choose to live out there. Uh, the Pacific's pretty good. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but there's also a bunch of other cool people who are going to be on that Why Your World Matters stream. It's me. It's uh, Miralock. It's Sage. It's the Space Jamber. It's Dauntless. It's Nathan Reckless Attack. It's a bunch of cool creators oh out God, there. Oh my God, Nathan Reckless Attack? Like, come on, list yeah, them it's out. It's a stacked. It's a stacked crew. You're going to want to learn how these people built their world so you can build worlds just as good. Get inspired. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Come and get inspired. Uh, and I think that's all I actually have going on for right now. So with that, I will leave you with a word of advice. Go out. Get enough food. Eat. Well, go out. Eat enough food. Drink enough water. Get enough sleep and take care of yourself. Because self-care is very important, especially in the days we're living in now. And don't forget to love yourself like we love you. Bye, see guys. We'll see you Alabama next time. See you yeah. next time. And we are clear, except they can still hear me. <laughs>